Hello there gang gals, the Welsh under here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in McPixel 3. This utterly hilarious game was developed by the legendary Sossoshowski, published by the legendary Devolver Digital and is priced at a legendary £8.39, but even more legendary is the fact that it's on Xbox Game Pass, so get it! So we play as McPixel, who resides in the peaceful town of McBurg, who, instead of chilling as a pixelated thing, we get thrown into literally every type of random situation you can think of and have to save the day. Pixel mullet. Bam! This is genuinely one hell of a really good and hilarious game, and the achievements are easy to boot too. So basically, there's 93, which you may think, Jesus Christ, mate. But uh, basically, in each round, we will need to do a bunch of various things in the sub-levels in order to find all gags to get to 100%. So doing basically 100% in each level will get you an achievement for every round and every sub-level in that round, if that makes sense. Plus, finding all the gags uh, ever in the game is required to get you the full 1k anyway. But all in all, this should only take you around 5-6 to six hours to complete. So with that being said then, let's do it! And as usual... Press the A button to start, uh, get your buttons going onto whatever particular language you are sure of, and then just press the A button there to get it going. So, a lot of the times, a little bit later on, so basically, uh, obviously that was the start uh, menu there by pressing the start button. There he is, big Sosasowski himself, sub south. So it's going to throw you straight into the prologue here. So, it's going to tell you what to do here. The A button we're going to interact with, the left stick to move of course, so move over to the right. More. Uh, lights are going to come on, we're going to pick up the bomb with the A button, press the A button to put it on the table, and the old McPixel dick right here will, I mean, he'll just start chowing down, like it's a goddamn incredibly well done steak. Um, but this is what this game is, there's basically a hundred levels, and it's literally just a whole bunch of tiny mini games that we've got to do, um, just hilariously. So now we're going to sit our ass on the toilet, there we go, pull down your pants of course, you don't want to be pooping your pants, unless that's what you want to do for your OnlyFans or something, whichever one. Uh, I, I don't judge. And then just drag the bomb to make, oh, the bomb pieces to make a bomb, and that will pretty much be it. So very easy to start off with then, but this is literally, as I said, the crux of the game. You're going to find yourself in completely random situations where in each sub-level, you'll never be able to 100% um, a sub-level straight away. You'll have to do one thing and then it goes on to the next level, do another thing, <clears throat> excuse me, and then it goes on to the next level and then it just keeps going. You'll see, you, obviously this one we 100% because it's very easy, we've done everything that we can, but you will see exactly what I mean in just a bit. Now, there we go. So this is like the main sort of hub area. We will get used to this because you'll be dropped here every time. Um, Hilariously, this is the ending. You can't actually get this until the very end. So, yeah. Which is funny, because we only need 10 more coins. But anyway, continue heading on to the right. We're going to press the A button here to get a lovely little train ticket. And then we will start going with round 1. So basically, it's round 1A through to 1C, all the way to round 4C. So, 4 rounds. A, B, C in each of them. Uh, you don't actually have to kick her. I just wanted to kick her in the ass, so she kicked me in the face. Because, hey, that's the kind of kink we're into these days. Kick me in the face, damn it! Right, so here we go then. This is the main game proper. So, uh, we'll just wait. Obviously, what we got to do is try and stop the, the train from falling off the tracks and everyone dying. But we're going to do a few more things first. So, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to pick up the fish directly behind us. Go up to the window, press the A button to throw it out. And press the A button to get out of the window. That'll get you the red herring achievement for opening up the window. Uh, picking up the fish, and uh, yeah, you'll try and stop the train and fail miserable. So, of course, there we go. We get a couple of stamps for doing a couple of things. Now we will move on to the next level, and then it just uh, it's a recycling thing, if you know what I mean. So for this one, we're going to kick the old guy first. Then we're going to interact with the TV. Then take a whiz on the fire. It doesn't work. Uh, we're going to interact with the drinks cooler three times. And then that will give you more than enough power to hilariously put out the fire with your whizticles. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot of times that you're just going to laugh at the random 
hilariousness and uh, idioticness of it, of it all. There we go. So if you ever want to put out a fire, drink three cups of water and take a piss. There we go. Job done. So for this one then, we will get it 100%. Uh, what I should mention as well, if you accidentally um, get the saved icon right here, you can actually go back to the level until later on. So I do make a couple of those mistakes. You will see later on what I mean. For now, what we're going to do is just go straight into the circle and grab Steve. Now, this is one annoying little fellow who we have to do more. Um, we have to do like these sort of mini Steve sub-levels. So for this first one here, all we got to do is put things together. So the first one, put a lemon and the screw together. And that's going to make a... Well, it's going to make a lemon screw monster. Screw your lemon monster! Eventually, here we go. Oh, and it's going to make an angry... Uh, so that, yeah. It's literally so random. I really want to know what sauce was drinking. <laughs> what sauce sauce was drinking when he was uh, making this. Right, anyway, what we're going to do here then. First of all, interact with the guy. Kick him in the face. Then just interact with the fire. Stick your head square and the fire. Boom! And that will explode that. I'll give us another stamp, and that'll, uh, yeah, move us on to the next level. So the last level then is a plane. Lots of things to do on the plane. First of all, we're just going to interact with the controls, and that's going to end this particular section. So you see exactly how it all goes. You're literally skipping through each level until you basically save the day. So again, if you end up missing um, a gag or two and you end up missing a 100% on a particular sub level, that's fine because we can just go back into it and quickly smash it out anyway. So don't panic if you accidentally save the day, which I did a few times, annoyingly. Right, so back into the train level. Um, also, what you can do, uh, you can press the B button to cycle through nearby items if they're too close. Saves you pressing the wrong one. But we're just going to go straight through the door, interact with the toilet, stick your head down there to see... Uh, well, I mean... Damn, what happened to that? Jeez! <laughs> That's not good, man. Get back in, we're gonna pick up the fish. We're going to go back into the toilet. We're gonna pop him down, give our fish. And um, we're gonna go back out. We're gonna kick the old guy, and then we're gonna kick the lady in the face. So again, press the B button if it's too too close to the fishbowl. But kicking the lady will kick the fishbowl, and then we will just die and explode anyway. So yeah, jobs are good. And by the way, the only reason this is going so fast is if you, if you couldn't tell, in the top left-hand corner, you do get timed. Now, it seems like you've got no time to do it at all, but it's actually very generous. But you do still have to be kind of quick. Also, what I will say after this one, we're just going to interact with Steve once again here. So this is what we're going to do as well with the Steve levels. We have to just keep interacting with him until we get 100% on the Steve levels as well. So, what we're going to do now is grab the lemon, and then we're going to grab the cash. So, uh, stick some lemon in the cash. Steve. What I was going to say as well, if there is a cutscene that you've already seen, you can just press the B button to just um, skip it. So, you don't actually have to watch the same scene over and over again. So, for instance, now with all of these levels, because we've seen the beginning cutscene, you can just press the B button in order to skip straight through to the level, which will make things a little bit quicker. So, for now, what you can do is... Try and grab the branch. Uh, you will get an achievement for trying to grab the branch. Um, but when you do that, grab the branch, hit the old guy with it, and then put it in the fire. And then what you can do is just interact with the old guy himself, who will eat your foot for some reason, smash you about like an absolute madman, mad ting. And there we go. So I believe that one is a 100% one. But yeah, to get the missable achievement, which I do believe I actually missed the first time around here. I do apologize. But you need to try and reach for the branch first. Again, if you missed it, it's no worries. We can just go back into it later. Uh, but for the plain one, just interact with the guy sleeping on the chair. He will smash him on the consoles. And job done. So yes, I do apologize there for missing the one achievement but literally that's all you got to do again as i said instead of kicking the tree to get the branch down you've got to just interact with the branch to try and reach it and that is what will get you the achievement so only four hours 20 minutes left to go come on we got this there we go so hold b to skip cutscenes that we've already seen which is all good so if you've seen the train before there you go, and then you can press the X button to interact with any highlights, um, everything. So, grab the fish, 
kick the guy and hit the guy with a fish, and then we are going to hit the woman with it, and that's actually going to take off her beautiful blonde wig, and then you'd... I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if you made out with a blonde, a blonde fish, because, uh, hey, everyone's got weird kinks these days, and I am all up for that. Sort of. Not up for banging a fish with a blonde wig. Not my ting, personally. Right, with this one again, we're just going to interact with Steve. Steve. And for the next part, then, we're going to grab the lemon, and then we're going to interact that with the spider. And that'll make another creation of God's Abominations. Steve. So back with L Plane, what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the guy who's just um, either sleeping or he's deader than the dead thing. Jump on him a couple of times, that will end <laughs> this section again. It's genuinely, you will find things that you will not expect in this game, and pff, well done to Sauce for that one. So, back on El Trino. And then what we're going to do then, we're going to pick up the fish again, and we're going to put him straight in the fishbowl. We'll drop the fish, jump straight in the fishbowl. <laughs> for some reason, uh, we'll die once again, but that'll get us another stamp. <laughs> Once again, back on the space station. Now we're going to interact with Steve. Once again. And then for the next abomination, we're going to grab the screw and then we're going to grab the money to make some screw you money. Back of the plane, head to the left, we're going to interact with this guy to beat the crap out of him. We will drag him to the right hand side us. And then we're going to smash the first guy who's sleepingly dead, smash the second guy who's sleeping on the chair. And then interact this guy with the console, that will end that one. So yes, yeah, so you should have had a couple of achievements so far. The poop goes plop for the tutorial, red herring, the pee a lot for uh, completing the fiery mission. And then it's good to be short for trying to reach for the branch. Again, if you didn't, if you missed any of those, we can just quickly replay them and grab them. It's fine. Uh, back in the train, grab the fish. And we're going to interact with the top, just at the top of the door there. And the fish is going to go floppier than, well, you know. And then we're just going to throw them outside. Then we're going to interact with the fishbowl to put it on our heads now. Again, for some reason, don't know why, but that kills us dead. And we've only got one more thing left to do, right? Yeah. Back on here then, we're going to interact with the middle bit again to get Steve. And then once the Steve level appears, this time we are going to grab the screw and the spider. So stick the screw square up the spider's nyan. And then that's another job then. It comes into an absolute scary thing. Man, that's scary thing. Right, back on the plane. We've already completed two levels, so we're getting through it now. So with this one, we are going to beat up the dude. Then we're going to drag him to the parachute, so make sure you've clicked on the parachute. Steve uh, McPixel will throw the parachute, grab the shovel, then we can just drop down. We're going to get another achievement here in just a bit, um, in just a bit, but we're going to try and go all the way to the right. That's going to slam us all the way down to the ground on our head, and because we are pixelated, we still remain alive. <laughs> By the way, the music in this game is totally fantastic. Right then, all we got to do then is just interact with the uh, alarm or the emergency stop at the top of the door. That will get us the 100% and stop the train from killing us dead. Back on L Star Wars Star Trek Station, interact with Steve again. We're going to make a yet another ting. And then what we'll make this time then, we're just going to make the money, the spider, and that should be the last one and a nice 100% for Steve. Jesus, that is Dr. Zoidberg. Why not both? Zoidberg. You know, everyone knows Zoidberg. Right back onto the plane then. So what we'll do is head to the left. 
We're going to grab, uh, we're going to jump straight out, sorry, just jump straight out. And um, we're going to go to the right, and we're just going to drop down again. Drop down and die. But it doesn't actually give us anything that time, so I do apologize. Some of them I do repeat again. Uh, anyway, we're going to interact with the red button here. And that will just pretty much uh, send it into, yeah, nothing. But that'll do. So yeah, sometimes it may seem like I've just repeated it. We don't get an extra tag. Um, that will happen a couple of times. It's very easy to press the wrong button as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab the shovel. Drop that one out. We will drop straight down. Grab the shovel. And then we'll just drop, <laughs> we'll drop straight down. But that will give us a little tag this time. Right, for this one, we're going to grab... We're going to kick... Uh, old rocker dude in the balls interact with the guitar and jump straight in now what we have to do then in order to get the 100 what you need to do is basically shoot the asteroids but leave one or two go past it's very important that you leave a couple go past that'll destroy the space station with old metal head on it so literally just I ended up just shooting the top of the asteroids leaving the rest go through and the job is a good one because I am Vashan now. So doing that then we'll get you the do you have a spare asteroid achievement uh by the way no i'm not sure if because we beat the dude with the other dude um earlier on now to get the beat the dude with the dude achievement as so we just grab the parachute we're going to interact with the parachute and it's basically more steve levels that we have to do that's nice um but this one's very easy. All we've got to do for this one then is just go through it and interact with each of the six items that are in here in order to get the full 100%. The steam levels are very easy. They're just, they just add time, which, uh, you know, doesn't need to. Now, in order to get the beat dude with another dude achievement, the, I'm not sure if... Now remember earlier we grabbed the guy from the left hand side and then beat up the other two dudes. I'm not sure if the achievement will unlock there. If the achievement doesn't unlock there, what you'll need to do is beat up the one dude. So that they're both flying down like we did earlier. Then interact with the one guy. He And then interact with the other guy. He'll start hitting the guy with the guy. That'll get you the beat dude with another dude achievement. Um, I do apologize. I did go through this game... Uh, once. I did go through all these levels once. But for some reason I seem to have lost... The footage of me getting that achievement as well, so I do apologize. The video will get a lot better and a bit less crappy on my part, so I do apologize. But again, luckily, anything that we end up missing for whatever particular reason, any gags or achievements, we can quickly replay and job done. So for now, just keep grabbing the parachute, dropping down, and just keep doing the Steve levels until Big Steve is on 100%. Steve.
God, that Steve bit is done. So we're gonna do, we're gonna beat up the dude. Beat up L dude. Then we're gonna grab the shovel. And this is actually where you can get the beat dude with another dude achievement. Sorry, I thought I didn't show it, but apparently I did. So once we've done this then, drop down, interact with the dude upside down, hit the other guy. This is where you'll get the beat dude with another dude achievement. We'll get the parachute. Everyone will drop to their supposed deaths. Once we're here, kick the tree on the left. And we are going to stamp on the guy, that will end the one particular section. And we are almost done with this first round. Seems like they take forever, but they're so fun, you just sort of, yeah, it doesn't take any time at all. So, last few bits now then, what we're going to do, head to the left, we're going to beat up El Dudeski again. Hiya, kick him in the balls, punch him in the head, meh. Grab the shovel once again. And fly, McPixel, fly! So, do the same thing again then, we're going to grab dude, we're going to beat up other dude, grab the parachute. Uh, interact with the tree once again, kick the soldier down, grab the shovel on the right, and then use it to beat the already supposedly dead soldier. That's, uh, man, that ain't good, you know? Uh, anyway, let's finish this one off then. So, head to the left. Again, beat up, kicky balls and all that stuff. Again, even with the beating up animations and stuff, you can press the B button to skip literally anything that you've seen to make this go by even quicker. It's not just for cutscenes. Um, so for instance, you'll beat this one, press the B button a couple of times, grab the shovel here, interact with the ground. This is what will complete round one A. A8. A. go then all the gags we can eat um you can have a look um at sort of what you've got and everything but everything should obviously be on 100 percent doesn't matter so we can just uh head back out here and then what we'll do from here then this is the main hub area again we're gonna head to the left and we're gonna go <laughs> and kick a dude if you want it literally makes no difference uh but we're gonna head continue heading to the left we're going to go to the left all the way until we get into the hotel here interact with dude ski Pay him a couple of 20 bucks. And then we can continue on to the right. I just kicked this guy pissing because, <laughs> man, nothing disrupts your flow more than being kicked in the butt while you're taking a whiz. Yes, British toilets are very humorous. Beasted. Anyway, once this is done, we're going to head through this first door, interact with this little shrinking machine, and this will get us into round two at 1B now. Bam. The music in this game is sensational, and I will keep saying that forever. So again, a couple of levels, a couple of sub-levels we've got to do. So first, what we're going to do is walk straight out and die. Hooray! For the next one, simply interact with the worm to get a hilarious Easter egg. Everyone knows that everyone played worms back in the day. So for this one, interact with the left side of arteries or veins or whatever the hell they are, and we're gonna get the guy going nuts. So let's save some computer stuff, uh, even though that there's definitely looks like Windows 95 stuff, but it's all good. Right, interact with the small little thing. 
I'm really crap in computers. Uh, then grab the tall thing on the right, use it to bash the blue thing, that'll explode. <laughs> Old blue balls, that'll explode mega. And then interact it with the small thing to snap it in half. It's all gig and RAM and motherboards and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty mongouache when it comes to uh, naming parts of a computer. So, yeah. Anyway, once that one's done, we are now on a little ant farm. Oh, look at us, we look hilarious. Uh, we can interact with the big ant if you want, but all we gotta do is grab a cheesy poof and then walk straight into the ants to die and unlock an achievement called Food Thief. Now these are really where we can only do one at a time. So interact with the chessboard and then just interact with the guy standing in the middle. Shoot him square in the back. And uh, yeah, that'll complete this one. Now this is one of my favorites of the entire game. We're gonna grab the matchstick and just head out and just have a look at, uh, yeah. You never thought you'd be doing this to a cat, did you? Oh yes, you just shoved a matchstick straight up a cat's ass. Uh, you know, because why not? And that'll get you the what what achievement. Uh, for this next part then, we're going to interact with the fly. That'll get us another achievement called You Scared It, and then interact with the snail. And it's going to take a while, but we'll get there. <laughs> So for this hilarious broski, we're going to interact with the artery just straight in front of us effectively. That's another one we'll just smash out and he'll do some more funny sniff. <laughs> right, back onto L computer, Windows 84. Grab the tall thing, put it on the top left white thing, that'll electrocute the buzz, and the buzz will be buzzed. So, back as a little ant, we're gonna grab three of these cheesy poofs, and then we're just going to give them to the queen big broski ant. So grab three. Again, try and be careful not to get crushed by the ants below, because, you know, that would result in death, and then you'll have to go through it all again and come back here. Although it is very easy to pr either press the wrong button. Uh, but there we go. After feeding three, grab another one, die anyway, and that will get us another two gag tags. And back into the chessboard of life. So again, press the A button to interact with it, and then we're just going to interact with the queen here on the right, give her a little smoochy smooch, and that'll get us the... Forbidden love achievement. Next up, all we're gonna do is kick a rat in the balls, and that will complete this level again. <laughs> Square in the tits. I mean, boibs. Boibs, sorry. So we're gonna do a little bit of waiting here for Snail Boy to get the head out of the way. Uh, there's basically a little fly swat just underneath him. Again, keep pressing the B button. You should be able to then uh, grab it. Obviously, the B button moves the cursor about, so you can actually grab it. There you go. Grab that. Smash it with the fly. And then we're going to grab the fly and fly, fly away. So that should be 100%, and for the next one, we're going to interact with the right set of artery veins, arteric veins, that's going to be another bit. Again, if you are on less percentage than me, uh, or you don't have 100%, obviously it just means that you've missed a gag somewhere, um, so, yeah. So that's all that is, but again, like I said, luckily we can just continue to replay it until we go through it all, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, almost done with this one as well, but next yuppie then is El Compiobro. 
So this time we are going to grab the tall thing on the right, grab, put it on the bottom left, scratch that, which... If you're someone who builds PCs for a living and stuff, this must be hurting you right now. <laughs> which I do. Uh, sorry, but that's what we got to do for achievements, huh? And then next up then, we are back in the ant farm. So this time what we're going to do, we're going to feed Big Ant Broski another three cheese noodles. What's it? Or my personal favourite, Cheesy Poofs. I love Cheesy Poofs. Right, when he is happy enough, we're going to head down all the way to the right and then just continue climbing up until you reach the farmer's nose and that's it. Will you win, Ant Head, Mullet Face? That should have been 100% then for the last one, for the ant gags. Again, uh, and then with this time we're just going to interact with the horse here, who's going to push us, smash us down. That's going to be another one. Um, again, if you've managed to miss one, it will just keep recycling the levels as long as you haven't been saved. Next, interact with the matchstick and the rat. That's going to put him on fire. Meow. And that's going to explode as dead again. We die a lot in this game. Uh, so that's 55% should be. Next up then, what we're going to do, we are going to grab the scissors. We're going to interact with either the up or the down arrow, doesn't matter which, for the artery ladders. Two windows 84 and we're going to just take a little well we're gonna stand up and that's gonna be it on the bottom left hand corner one that's gonna get us another achievement I command this caterpillar Back to McLovin Chest, we're going to interact with the dude on the left hand side, beat him with his own walk-in frame, and you should feel bad. You should feel bad about that. This time what we're going to do for the first level here is eat the cheese, because, you know, cheese is damn fine, baby. Makes you turn into a triangle. Oh. Right then. So for this one, we are going to just head up. Make sure to head up. If you go down, you will be saved and you have to come back to do the gags. But just going up will basically, well, kill you dead. Uh, again. So back to Windows 84 then. We are going to win... We are going to interact with the top left hand corner, sit down on that, and die. Yeah, we just basically die until we save the day, so it's a win-win. Lose, 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 win. That's yeah, that's more accurate. Next up, we're back to the chessboard. Uh, so click on the A button to click on the chessboard. Now we're going to go to the uh, queen on the left hand side, or the horse, whichever one. It doesn't make a difference, but if you choose the queen, you'll get smashed in the farce. So this time we're going to grab the matchstick, so grab the matchstick, then interact with the cheese, then interact with the rat, smash him down, and then head out and that will save the day! I bet the cat's thinking, eh, I wanted some meat, but uh, I guess cheese will do. I'll leave the rat for another day. Right, this time we're just going to head down, and we're going to have another hilarious scene. I did uh, crease my pants at this one. So 
So yeah, there we go. Dude thought it was the end scene of She-Hulk. Started twerking with Megan the uh, Crappian. And uh, yeah. That will also get us the achievement there as well, hilariously. Right, interact with the liquidy stuff. Smash that down. Then interact with the small thing. Oh, there it is. Then interact with tall machine. It won't work. Then interact with the bottom left thing. And that will work at frying up the computer again. Some more chess now, because we all like a bit of chess, don't we? Right, this time we are going to interact with the left-hand side horse. Back to Freiburg, Philip J. Fry's computer. Interact with liquid stuff again. Uh, then interact with small thing. Then go to the white top left hand corner one and that will complete this section. Just L chest bags to go with old homeless guy. Right, so jump in. We are now going to interact with the old dude on the right hand side. And we'll just king him. That'll do. Then once, we've only got one more thing left to do now and then it's save the day and all we gotta do is knock out the old homeless dude. So don't press the A button straight away. Uh, press the left stick to go to the old guy. Punch him square in the nugget and yep, that'll save the day. <laughs> and that should get you 100% of all gags done. So pretty much after every level you'll unlock some new costumes, but for now just continue heading to the left. In fact, there's nothing really on the right now, so head to the left, go into the game shop here, and we are going to kick this dude, and then we're going to interact with the arcade machine to do some game level. That's always fun. And Sos Sosowski there uh, <laughs> as a big poster, really, uh, really not subtle putting his face in everything in this game. I mean, he did create the game, so why the hell not? Right, so first of all then, Few things obviously we're gonna do in each level. First thing we're gonna do is kick this broski right here. Sorry about that, square and a nugget. Kick the tree on the right hand side, then just simply fall straight down the hole, and you will land on your head, deader than a bread on a Ted Fred drop said dead Fred thing. Meow, 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 meow. Right, next up then. Some of these do look complicated, but they're actually not so bad at all. So for this one, head to the left, we're gonna grab the apple as a, as a midgewart. Uh, so grab the apple, go inside, interact with the rocket, you'll eat the apple, interact with the rocket again to get the hell out of here, boy. So this one's easy enough, just follow the direction. So we're going up, left, up, Right, up, up, left, left, down, right, and there we go. Interact with this signage right here. It's going to get us the dead end achievement. Oh, also, we'll get the, uh, with the rocket one, you'll get the learn to love achievement as well. Now, all you can do then is pretty much just um, wait until the timer runs out for this section, yep.
So, yeah, that's another easy one then. What we're going to do is head right into this little building, grab the left-hand side item, go back out, plant it in the seed bit, and that's pretty much it. Doing some planting. To the next one then. So what we'll do is interact with the gate first. That is one of the gags. Help me. Or oh, help me. So then we can interact with the left hand side. You walk up it. Interact with the lever. Again, sometimes it can be a bit finicky, but just interact, kick the lever, drop down by pressing the A button, walk all the way to the right and interact with Voltorb. Now we are actually into Windows 95, so first thing we'll do then, we're just going to stick our head down into the recycling bin here to get another achievement called Nuclear Dumpster Diving. <laughs> And onto the secret levels for some fun. It's all fun. Right, just head straight in the house and that'll end this bit. <laughs> fun. Back to the beginning of the round. Right, we can ignore uh, ba Baldy right there. We're going to head to the left this time. Pick up the... I'm going to call it the Piss Potion, and you'll see why in just a minute. So, grab the Piss Potion, head down, take a whiz on the guy, you kick him, and then you just take a whiz on him for some reason. Uh, and then we can just... Yeah, there it is. There's the achievement I was looking for. I peed your pants, then just drop down the hole. So, yeah. Yeah. Very, uh... Very interesting times. Right, anyway, next game, head to the left, pick up the apple again. Head to the right, and this time we're going to continue on heading to the right. We are going to throw it over the boat on the right-hand side, so interact with it first to eat the apple, and then again to end this level. Right, so on to the next, next one. So this time, we're going to go in another direction, another direction. So head up to the right this time. Head up, and up, and up, and up. And that's about it. Uh, so what we'll do is head inside, grab the what looks like a rocket launcher from a homeless man. Head all the way down. And then to the left, and then to the down. Interact with the river, or whatever this is right here, and then go back up, so back to the right, and then all the way up again. We're gonna grab the roof, because of course we are that strong in video games. Just go ahead, grab the mega tin roof, then head all the way back down. All the way to the left, well, to the left once, down again, interact with that, and that will end this section. Now there's no way you could have done all three, in terms of getting the dead end achievement and doing those two, so that's why we had to do it separately. Uh, but that will save us. Job is a good fun. So that's at least another level done and dusted. Right, on to this one. We're going to go back into the building. We're going to interact with the middle item this time. And then go back outside and plant it. Or the right one. Doesn't matter which one. Apparently I picked the right hand side item up. Okay, this one, just one thing left to do. We're going to climb up. We're going to interact with the lever twice. Not once, twice, but twice is all you need. No three times a lady. So you grab the lever, go in, and then just press the A button next to uh, Vol Voldemort right here. Voldemort. Old Electrode, there we go. And that will end this section. You don't actually beat him. You shove up your ass and then your mouth gets bigger. That's, uh, <laughs> well, that's all too true. <laughs> Many people know that. Ah, my ass! Right, back into McPixel 95. Interact with the uh, computer in the top left-hand corner. That'll do for this one. Smash that doin. I do love the music for the secret levels, by the way. But anyway, back on here then, we're going to interact with the cat. J 
jump on him and he'll go wow. Well, he got one go wow very far, but we will explode uh, again, of course. That's all we're used to by now. Right, back to the beginning one then. So head up to the left, grab the old piss potion again. There we go. Head to the right. And this time we are going to interact with the tree. Take a little piss on the tree, that'll do. And this time we're going to go to the right. Make sure to actually go into the dog. He is an enemy and he will kill you dead. This time go to the right, ignore the dog and go to the right and pick up the bomb. This time, no apple involved. Head to the right, interact with the middle bit. Yep, just the middle bit, what we're standing on. You'll swim to safety. And just like the Shawshank Redemption, we win. Oh yeah. Alright, back to Stinky Manure Pile level now. Right, head back in. Whichever one you picked, pick the opposite one. So obviously, I picked the middle one, because it's the one I didn't get last time. Pop it in the manure, and job done. So yeah, you would've got the achievement there. McPixel is mom now. Now interact with the uh, paint. Um, choose the paint brush option is what I would preferably do. So choose it, grab the red, paint a line, grab the purple, blue, whatever that is, make like a something, whatever you can. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you've got something to poke stuff with. Cross it off and then interact with the bomb. So for L last part of L secret level, what we're gonna do is just interact with the bomb itself, shove it in the cat and uh, yeah. You have just shoved the bomb up a cat's butt. What is it with Sauce's, uh, Sauce Sosowski's problem with cats? Shoving a matchstick up one and shoving a bomb up one. Plenty more to go as well. <laughs> right then, so what we're going to do now, head up to the left, grab the old piss potion again. And this time we're going to head all the way to the right, ignoring the dog. Whatever creature that is, so ignore that. Then just interact with the bomb and that'll save the day. one but it's last level then we are going to head into the building this time grab the ladder which is the fourth item hiding in a hidey hole interact that with the manure pile and then just simply step on the lit fuse to finish the level save the day and continue onwards Majority's done, let's get back to it then. So interact with the painting again. Again, just make the same thing. So use a paintbrush, red handle of sorts, then a blue brush or blue, whatever the hell it is. Make whatever you want. Cross it off and now interact with the actual paint itself. That'll explode that one down like a brown, Charlie Brown town. And we'll, like I said, it's the last one now. So we are going to interact with the SOS, the sauce at the bottom. That'll be a, another gag. All finito, completo, benito, Frederick Binotto. Right, make another little handle paintbrush thing. There we go, lovely. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. Artistic. And now we're going to interact with the top on the computer. The top left on the computer. That'll get another gag done. Um, oh, in fact it didn't. Sorry, I thought it did. Oh, that's my bad. So this time then, obviously make yet another one. Uh, as terrible as me this one time. <laughs> and then for this one, simply just interact with the SOS at the bottom. That will actually save the day. Press the A button a couple of times here to smash it open. And that will save the day. You got it, girls, boys.
go. More 100% gags done. Again, if not, just interact. Every time we come back here, just interact with the sign in front of us now. Uh, that'll get you to whatever round you may be missing stuff on. It'll always tell you which one you're missing stuff on as well. So, head uh, all the way to the left. We're going to go up the alleyway this time and continue onwards. Interact with the guy who's got a trench coat on and his nipples poking out and his uh, little wiener pants. Um, yeah, pay him some money. Put some clothes on, bruh. Time to save the day. So, first up then, we're going for a lovely little helicopter ride. So all we need to do is basically take one thing apart at a time. The first thing we'll do is just... Again, it doesn't matter which one you do, I just take the back of the engine out there first. And that'll kill us dead, once again. So, next one, we're on a uh, iceberg with a polar bear. He's not too friendly, so we'll have an interact with him and he'll eat us dead. A lot of dead stuff going on in here. I mean, our legs are still moving, so uh, I guess we'll be fine. Right, with this one, you can just stand there. Basically, you've got to be really quick with that one to get the other two. You've got to walk towards the two trees and basically interact with each one. We'll do that later on, though. Uh, I struggled for some reason, which I'll show you in just a bit. Uh, this one will just take a whiz in the car, so as you do. Get yeah, ready, it's a great NASCAR race. Oh my god, McPixel's taking a piss in the car. Okay, sounds good. And then McPixel wins and he's filled up with piss and vinegar, tidy. Right, this one's kind of a long-winded one, so we're going to have to be kind of quick about this one. First of all, kick the plant pot, walk to the right, interact with the bin. You're going to take another piss in the bin. This guy whizzes like there's no tomorrow. Grab the boxes on the left and drag them to the right of the elevator. Quick as you can, make sure to press the buttons. And then, first of all, we're going to go to 4F. So the very top one, 4th. We're up to 4th. Right, drag it out. Go as far left as you can until you reach the helicopter. And then that'll be bang tiani. There we go. So put it just behind the helicopter there and that'll get it going. And we're not quite done yet. Right, so head to the right now, back into the elevator. Press the elevator buttons again. And then this time we're going to go down to three, uh, two F, sorry, tooth. So we're going to Toof, so get your teeth out. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the water machine here, the water bottle machine, get some water in your pants, because why not? Interact with the photocopier machine to break that. Go to the left, kick all three of the people here. So kick one, two, and three. We will get an achievement for that as well. Once you've kicked all three, interact with the chair computer on the right, start banging your head. This pretty much looks like every office job in, on the planet. So, yep, to be fair, that's... Uh, yeah, so if you are in an office job and this doesn't look like this, then goddamn, where the hell do you work? A lot of people want to do that. So there we go then, that one's done. Now we're on to the secret level. This is a bit of a fun secret level as well. So grab the key from the top left, interact with the door, drop down, go to the right, and get eaten straight away by the dragon. You'll have to go towards his big fat nugget. There we go. Roar, I am, <coughs> I am Elder Scrolls took arrow to knee, etc. Right, so for the helicopter one again, uh, we're just going to click up the rotator blades. That's going to get us a, another gag. Another gag tag. Ooh, another gag tag. Boom, 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 boom. Right, next, pick up the rock and then just throw it into the sea and then dive into the sea yourself. And that's the only way to escape a polar bear until you freeze to death and then... Scientists find your body in the year 3000 and you change your name to Philip J. Fry. Right, again, got to be quick with the bus one. Obviously, you've just got to interact with the left-hand side tree. Um, <laughs> it, it did take me a few tries to do that. But for the car one, we're going to kick this dude, pick up his keys, and then we're going to be going for a little drive. Now, to get the achievement and to get the full gag tag, um, we basically have to just get to the end of the lap. So it's pretty much easier here just to uh, drive on the grass. So if you ever want to be a race car driver, uh, you don't have to worry about going on the uh, on the track. Just uh, go on the grass, and then as soon as you see the checkered flag in front of you, bam, get over it, and then that will do. If you do crash, you you can just obviously start again, so don't panic about that, but you will get the made it all the way achievement. 
<gasps> okay. Right, next with this one, let's just continue on forward. Or to the right, even. This time, we are going to be heading to the old 3F. Uh, now, this is a funny yet unexpected one. Basically, McPixel's gonna get horny, but horny with who? The receptionist? <gasps> nope. It's the CEO, the guy with white hair. And if this turns you on, you're all sick. It's pixelated porn. You can't watch any pixelated porn. It's got to be full 4K now. It's just what uh, this generation's used to. Can't be watching no pixel Tomb Raider type stuff anymore. So back to the <laughs> secret level anyway. Grab the key, interact with the door, go up towards the berries and give them an eating. Drop down and we're going to grab the sword there. Go to the right, go and then just hit the dragon. Sorry, so just hit the dragon. Go up. Hit the sheep a couple of times as well, and that will explode us, but it will get us the Slay the Lamb achievement. So that's what we want, and then we've just got one more left to do. Back to the helicopter then. And this time, what we're going to do is we are going to... You can either go at the blades at the very, very back of the helicopter, or have a look downwards. And that will be another gag and tag and done. Right, so, back to El Polar Bearer. So, grab the rock once again, give it to the polar bear, he's gonna eat us, he's just, just gonna eat us with a rock in his hand. Right, bus, quickly go up and dive. Now, if you had gone to the left, you would have hit the tree. If you had gone to the right like I just did there, um, that means you were saved. So, we're gonna have to come back to that one later, personally, for me. So, obviously, with this one, as you've just seen, kick the driver and then kick him again. That will get us the saved... Um, uh, get it saved and that should be on 100% and again that's just for kicking the driver twice there sorry about that it's the bus one which really puts you off and back to the bomb building so again head to the right head to the right and then this time when we interact with the elevatia buttons we are going down to B1F so Bwanf if you uh, want to call it that Bwanf head left and then just head back and then we will go up to 3F once again Go from Bwanf to Threef. And then just go to the left. Go to the left again. Interact with the CEO guy. Get your uh, pixelated rocks off with him again. And uh, that'll get us one. Tidy. Right, back at the secret level again. Grab the key, go through the door. Grab the berries. Go down. Go to the left. Go underneath the dragon this time. We're going to go up. Grab the sheep. Look how massive we are. Oh, one sheep in one hand. And then simply just feed him to the dragon and that'll end this bit. And back to the people's favorite, the helicopter. This time we're going to interact with the very back uh, rotator blades. That'll be another one, Danos. Back to our friend, the polar bear. Right, grab the rock, interact with the rock just in front of the polar bear, and that will actually end this bit 100% saved. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my bear. Back to bomb bomb baby bomb tastic so head to the right again of course through the elevator push the elevator buttons again this time we're going to go back down to b1f so back to bwanf and then this time we're actually going to grab the bomb so grab it drag it push it and flap it flappy flappy flap interact with it and we're going to go up to 4f this time so back up to fourth when we get to fourth, we're going to drag it all the way to the helicopter like we've done with the boxes uh, the first instance round and strap him off and goodbye. 100% saved. Back 
finally then for the heli canopter we've done everything on top so we're going to interact with all three pedals inside of the helicopter now to basically get this one done so the accelerator the brake and what appears to be a clutch does a helicopter have a clutch like a car probably not but still so just interact with you yourself in the middle there we go and that'll do it for all three So as you can see, I only managed to get 95% and that was because of the, that damn bloody bus one. My reef, my reaction times were not very good. Um, so obviously I will be showing you if you haven't had to yet, I'm showing you how to get back into it. So interact with the signs straight away, go to story mode. And then of course go to whichever one you just struggled on. So obviously for me, it's round 2A because I haven't got anything left. And then what will happen then, uh, once you press the A button a couple of times here, it'll just tell you to find all gags. So it'll only keep you on the one level where you need to find the rest of the gags. So you don't actually obviously have to go through the rest of the levels again. So for me, quickly go up to the left-hand side tree. <laughs> obviously that went well. Yeah, so that one really done my absolute titty bags in there to be fair, but better late than never, all done. And now we will happily move on. So as usual then, for now, just keep heading towards the left. And it be in this section then, we're going to pay the 120 coins to get to just to park a car. That is Am's ripoff. Anyway, head down, continue to the right, and let us save the day once more. So McPixel's around, but we're not actually playing as McPixel Dick this time. We're playing as the old man for this one. So hit McPixel square on the head and just jump out of the carriage. Job done. Goodbye. And explodions. Next up then, we're in an office playing as the plant pot. What we're going to do is just interact with McPixel. He's going to take a McPixel on us and, uh, yeah, soak it all in, I suppose. This one's mega easy as well then, so we're just going to interact with the blonde Ladia on the right-hand side. Big Volcano's going to eat her. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all we're going to do. We're just going to do that for all four. And that will eventually get us to 100%. So, yeah, fit. Right, on to the next one then. We're back on the plane. Not as bad as the first time around, though. We play as the snake. We're going to interact with the shovel first here on the right. And that'll do with that. Underneath the sub, we're a sausage on the floor. So we're going to interact with the middle window first of all, and then interact with McPixel himself. We're going to go up and give him a big green sausage party. Or something. Now we ams. 
big alien chunky head. All we're going to do then, interact with the computer. You're going to lick it uh, for some reason. But you're also going to get the I Love Computers achievement and, yeah, get the gag for licking the computer. It is. One secret level coming up. So what we're going to do for now is... Well, you can either walk into the right, which I'm going to do, or you can just stand still, doesn't matter which. Apparently, we walk into the right first. So, back to the train as the old guy. So, pick up the teeth, and that'll do. <laughs> Next is planting with plant, which is going to interact with the photocopy and printer machine right there. Jump on that to break it, and yeah. So for this one, all we're going to do is just eat the cow this time, turn him into a delicious boiger. Well done, well done, there it is. So now we're going to be the snake on the plane again, snakes on the plane. This time what we're going to do, if we grab the bomb, eat it, and that'll do that. <laughs> Next up then, we're going as the green sausage thing again. And first of all, what we'll do is interact with the binoculars, then interact with the captain, and he'll stamp on our green sausage infused head. That's a way to go, I suppose. Right, next up, we're back as Alien McAlien Balls. This time, we're going to interact with the... Um, uh, the beer bottle I'm trying to grab. Well, we interact. Gra kick my pixel in the butt, grab the beer bottle, and then we are going to do something otherworldly. So he rubbed his alien bits and then a laser beam protruded from his alien clit. Uh, anyway, that's what you do. Kick him, yeah. This time we're just going to stand completely still for the secret level. And there's uh, a way that we have to get over the spikes in the next one. Uh, we basically just have to press the A button just as we start to jump over to the right, that's all. But for now, stand still. Get exploded, thanks for waiting, no problem. Right, as old boy, we're going to interact with the bomb itself. Give that a couple of taps. Tap, 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 tap. And that will explode us again. Again. So as the plant pot once again, we're going to head over to the right, interact with the other guy this time. He's going to dive inside us. I don't know how many times we're going to be saying that for the rest of the guide, but, you know, we'll see. That'll be 60%. Anyway, the next one, we're going to go for the bone. So, back as snakes on a plane. Interact with the door, open that one up. And then we're going to interact with the bomb again. I've had it with these mother flipping snakes on this mother flipping plane. Samuel L. Jackson, classic. Right, green sausage, interact with the steering wheel. That'll do that one, straight through the window. We'll get another achievement for this as well. Right, so as Ailey McBalls, we're gonna go to the left, open up the thing, we're gonna... do Well, that, that'll do, open up the panel. And uh, yeah, we're on to a winner. So, on the secret level then, we're going to press the A button and then press the A button to jump and immediately go over to the right. Don't fall all the way down, just as soon as you start, jump over to the right. And that is how we will do this one. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I died the first time, but that's how you do it, so just don't fall. So, back to the old dude then. We are going to interact with the emergency to not stop and still get exploded. Thank you, old man. Now back as the plant, we're going to interact with the laptop this time. This will save the day and we're all good as bananas. This looks like fun. Hell of a shoot em up dog. And for the last one then, on the volcano level, just interact with McPixel Balls himself and that will 100% save the day.
back to these mother flipping snakes on a mother flipping plane. So we'll interact with. Uh, <laughs> we'll interact with my pixel. Ah, uh, sorry. It's just it's funny how snakes. The snakes really tend to go for the uh, male crotchy parts. I don't know, but still, that one made me laugh as well. This time, try and just jump over straight to the right. If you manage to do it, there we go. So this time I managed to do it, go to the right, finally save the day again. Right, so we've only got a couple left to do now. Back onto the train, this will be the ending as well. We're going to interact with the chunkiest looking terrorist dude. And there we go. So if you ever find yourself, hopefully you don't, but if you ever find yourself in a situation where there is a bomb about, just get an old guy or get a cane, whack him over the head a couple of times and shout at him to get out, and they will. So that's uh, that's apparently how it works. Happy with that. Right, bang into the building then. So for the last one, all we're going to do is jump into the plant pot right in the middle. And now that is how we save the day. Sorry, I said we saved the day last time, but this time we actually saved the day by jumping into the plant pot to save the day. So the day is saved by us saving the day. Thankfully. So, one left to do then. <laughs> Open up the door. Uh, gobble right on McPixel's pixelated crotch, and <laughs> I'll do it. So then, this time we're going to go to the left, we're going to go back through the hotel. Uh, is Goldie looking chains, the moldy looking stain boy. So back through the hotel. Uh, again, you can kick guy who's still incredibly whizzing in the corner. Um, we'll just... Do, 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 do. My elevator music. Go past this door this time. Over to the left. If you want to, you can kick this lady out the window. <laughs> Sorry. And then we're going to go into TV land. Now... This first one, for some reason, went through this twice, and every time this just confused me. So, and this is even the time where I accidentally saved the day, rather than, you know, before we got the 100% gags, so you'll have to excuse me on that one again. Um, but yeah, so this is the uh, round 2C, and we've got a lot to get through. So this one is going to take us a while, in all fairness. So, first of all, interact with the door. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's true. Interact with the rake, and you'll sideshow Bob yourself. Interact with the window. Woohoo! Sideshow Bob! <laughs> Interact with the spade, throw that, and Dad will be Fiaumin. I assume it's Dad, Dad and Mom. And then we're gonna grab the ladder from the left. We will put that over to the window. Oh, well, we hit the door first, and then the window, sorry. So, the door, and then the window, go inside. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up the, we're going to kick mommy down the, kick the lady down the stairs, smash her square in the face, interact with the plant pot, throw that at papa as well. Then what we're going to do is put the uh, bomb down, sit down, and then that'll do it for the first bit. So basically you save the day when you make the guy here extra mad that he just kicks you out, um, which I, I think I accidentally do on the next run. But um, like I said, it's all fine. We'll always get a 100% gags. Anyway, so 57% of that one done. Next up then, we're going for what looks, <laughs> it's the A-team. We are A-team in this time. And all we're going to do is keep interacting with the bin, because uh, we're going to be doing a Steve level. We haven't seen Steve for a while, and it's been nice. We've, it's been happy not seeing Steve for a while. So for these Steve levels then, all you're going to do is literally... Click the washing machine and then go all through all six cycles. I just go from literally left 
and spin it all the way to the right. And on to the space station. Let's go to the right, and then all we're gonna do is first interact with the console. Big scary alien will come, and oh, what's he gonna do with that tongue, boy? Put your tongue away, man! <laughs> now back to the house and trousen then. So, uh, we've done everything outside, so what we're gonna do then, we can just grab the ladder. We can interact with the shovel as well, so basically it doesn't matter what order you do it in, but the shovel will smash him in the foose. Uh, pop the ladder in so we can climb in. Hello. Right, uh, so what we're going to do now is I grab the plant pot, accidentally throw it at the dad. I didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to grab the shovel, hit the paps, and then what we was supposed to do, I ended up interacting with the fire. This is where I saved the day because I've pissed him off three times. What we were meant to do then was actually throw the bomb into the fire. So if you didn't grab the plant pot, throw the bomb into the fire as well, and that'll get you some more. I obviously accidentally saved the day by pissing him off too much, which, uh, I mean, that's <laughs> that's what I tend to do a lot. So, I do apologise if this has slightly confused things here, but um, um, just just write down, if you haven't got to this bit yet, just write it all, just write down the, um, the time of where it was. All we're doing is... Kicking all four girls square in the booty and then sticking your face in some cake and then we'll just wait for the ultimate explosion So again, I do apologize But again if you haven't if you haven't got this far just yet write down the time of when this started That's what I was trying to say and then obviously go from there So I do apologize this portion of the video of this round is a little bit confusing uh, That is my dumbass fault Right, interact with the bin again, Steve will pop out, and again, it's just a washing machine, so you're going to just use all six cycles. Steve. So, back to Star Trek, Star Wars land. Star Trek land? Yeah, whatever. So first of all, we're going to just interact with the guy. That'll piss a lot of people off because they're going to be like, "Excuse me, my name is Commander Worf. I look like a fanny." <laughs> so back to the well, back to the birthday party, as it were. So interact with the box. Grab. Uh, don't. In fact, yes. Grab the dynamite. That's what we're trying to. Do? Yep, there we go. Grab the dynamite, and then what we'll do is we're just gonna <laughs> kick the lady ass once again. So grabbing the dynamite, kicking the ladies once again, and then we'll just wait. Don't put it in the cake, because that is what will save the day, just in case. All we're doing is just grabbing the dynamite there and kicking the woman in the ass for that particular reason. Right, interact with the bin and do the washing machine ting. Hello, hello, right back to it then, what we're going to do is just interact with the door by the sleeping guy and we'll just float on by. So back to the party, interact with the balloons and you'll just get whacked square in the butt now. Whether it's a good thing or not, I don't know, but it's got spikes in it, so I assume not. Oh, oh. Big Pixel seem to like that one, though. Which, to be fair... Uh, anyway, enough. Stop being, stop being so goddamn rude and kinky. Anyway, same thing, Steve and Washing Machine Ting. Steve. 
So for a lot of the time then, we are just going to be interacting with the button straight away, and then we're going to inter interact with ourselves. Uh, we're going to be doing this for quite a while, just while we finish up some of the other levels. So what you're going to see is uh, basically this, and then with Steve just going back to the bin, just while we get through some of these levels. But for this one, we're going to interact with the box, grab the dynamite again, um, interact with the balloons, and well, <laughs> it's going to hurt a lot more for her this time. Oh! <laughs> So, remember, it's just Steve and washing machine, but that is how I would imagine if you ever got on trade into a mail for the first time and you hit your specific spot of explosions. Yeah, that's what I feel the dynamite would be there. So, head to the right, kick all five guys, actually, kick all five of these broskies right now. One, two, three, four, and five, and then simply go back to the left, interact with the button again on the wall, and then just choose yourself. Right, so this time then, uh, what we're gonna do is you just have to put your face in the cake and then interact with the balloons, but for some reason I go around kicking all the ladies again. Sorry, la sorry ladies. Um, but yeah, so stick your head in the cake, interact with the balloons, and then you'll get another gag by being spanked very hard uh, with cake on your face and a balloon this is turning into one hell of a party <laughs> and if anyone's gonna make a party like that make sure to invite me because that looks like burn anyway steve it up wash machine it up Spaceship again, just hit the button and click on yourself. So this time around then, we are going to interact with the box, we are going to grab the dynamite and we're going to shove that where the sun don't shine, right in the cake. And that'll save the day. So finally on to the next one, which seems like forever. Now this is a strange one. Uh, this is a long cut scene, but basically everyone's going to start turning into aliens who want to lick you. This is turning into one hell of a party, I tell you. <laughs> So, time to get the hell on out of here. So, go, just walk to the right. Uh, we will be licked by these things. <laughs> I was just looking at the guy on the floor there. And, um, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Do not know what to tell you. So, anyway, for the next two, remember, we're just going to go for Steve, the washing machine, and then press the button on the spaceship. I would like to know what went through Mr. Sosowski's head as he was uh, coming up with these mini games. Anyway, go to the left and just interact with the table. We're still going to get licked. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> so.
So this time then for the wash machine, I will just explain, but there's basically something just to the right of you there. Pick that one up and then this is what will get you the 100%. We will still have to do these Steve levels just a couple of times. So uh, we're just gonna keep doing this last process until we get where we need to be. So this time around then, head down to the left, go up into the bathroom. We are going to get spooked by a guy with his pants down who wants to lick us. Just walk straight into this guy who wants to lick us with his pants down. And, um, well, I'm glad there's no show after this one. I wouldn't want to see, but this is how, <laughs> that's how I met your father. So just in case you were wondering how your mother met your father, it's probably in situations like that. Out clubbing, he had his pants down and he was trying to lick me and then we they sort of just got together. Cute, cutey stuff. Right, so again, with the Steve washing machine bit, we will just uh, pop out the right thing in, and then the same thing with the spaceship. Again, we're just gonna continue doing these two until we finish the Licky Licky Alien one. So, ah, uh, I didn't actually mean to do that. I meant to go into the bathroom, so apologies about that. Um, so we were supposed to go into the bathroom, turn the taps on, and then escape. But, you know, I messed up, sorry. <laughs> I didn't skip the cutscene, sorry. So go down and then up into the bathroom. Obviously, we need to be quite quick so the guy with his pants down doesn't wash us. Turn all four taps on. Or doesn't lick us even. Turn all four taps on, interact with the toilet, and that'll get your buns out of there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> So this time around then we're going to do some fighting. This is kind of like a Streets of Rage thing. So we're going to punch or kick the old guy and then we're going to do some fighting. So it's literally just a case of obviously going up to each enemy, pressing the A button to punch or I think it's the X button to kick. Um, these normal en enemies will take three hits to go down. Stronger enemies will take four hits, but it is still very easy. So um, you can kick the bins if you want, if it makes you feel better about yourself. A uh, couple of guys here as well. Don't worry about the bombs. They're not going to do anything. So just kick these guys dead. Uh, this guy with the Pidgeotto haircut uh, takes a few more hits to go down. So head to the... It's, again, this is only very, very short. Uh, another two will appear here. So, two achievements tied to this one. What we're going to do is completely destroy the car first. So, this definitely doesn't remind you of uh, Street Fighter or, or anything. No. Anyway, head to the right. This is like the final sort of boss, if you will, of this stage. Uh, he can shoot you, so just be careful to, you know, tr just try and get as close as you can to him. Um, go left or right. Kick his ass. Bam. And then all we've got to do is just interact with the car. And that'll get you an achievement, but it won't save the day just yet. My car is so pushy. So we've just done the same thing again here with the space station. And again, we'll have to do the same thing here. So just go through this level again, kicking all the bad guys out.
So this time with the card, do not touch it. You can hit it once or twice, I think it's fine, but if you can try and keep it fully undamaged, that will come in handy. Uh, so if you're going to try and hit this guy, try and just get him over to this uh, main area and just try and kick his ass to the side, purely because we need the next achievement and we need to finish this level off as well. There we go, so once that guy's done, now the car door should be open. As long as the car door's open, even if you've hit it a couple of times, uh, you'll still be fine. If not, um, then you'll just have to replay the level again, if you ended up pushing it, of course. Right, so, on to the next level now. Wow, wow, wow. Right, so there we go, doing some more A-Team stuff. A couple of things, obviously, to do in here. First thing we're going to do, interact with the middle, and then just cut all five wires to get an achievement and to blow yourself up. So, back to it. Again, I'll obviously let you know when we're going to do more of the space station stuff. So just interact with the right-hand side door. That'll just electroconicute you to bits. And for the next part then, we're going to interact with the bomb itself. That's obviously going to go well. And we're back. This time we're going to head to the left and just interact with the car. And we're just going to drive straight through. Easy McCheesy, Mr. A-Team. Bruh. So, on to the third round of the second round of the round 2C. So... Chunky guy's gonna come down, and we're just gonna grab the little thing next to us. We're gonna use it on the guy, and he's gonna shoot us dead. That's unfortunate. Welcome back! Okay, now we're just going to try and hit the guy itself. Not going to work. <laughs> McPixel here thinks he's Bruce Willis, just going up to punch him in the face. Right, we're just going to head to the left this time. And we're just going to take a little whiz on our car because, I mean, when you got to go, you got to go. Excuse me, bad guy, don't shoot me, i got to go. Uh, now we'll just wait until we get shot. But we get the achievement there, it's my car. Back again, so let's pick up the rock or whatever that is, or the brick, and then we're going to head to the left. And then we're simply going to interact with it with the car, that is going to save us, and we've just Bruce Willis the day. Oh yes, how could I forget? The uh, seemingly normal villain bald guy turns into a dinosaur. So press the A button on the super. Uh, there's nothing that you have to do here. This is just a cutscene. Uh, but just enjoy it anyway.
So now then, with all those, then we can finally move on with the Space Station one. So, all we're going to do for now then, is press this button here, and then pick every other character. So that's all we're going to be doing for the next couple of turns, is pressing that red button, and then choosing every other character. That's it for the time being. Until they're all gone. They're all explodions. <laughs> So after the last one has mysteriously vanished, which no one will ever know, go to the right. Now we are going to finally drag the sleeping dead guy over and that'll do him. I mean, to be fair, he can't exactly speak for himself and since he's in a sleeping state, meh. Anyway, go over to the right, interact with this door yourself and we're floating on by again. Right, so with that one done, we're now going back to blaming everyone again. So again, hit the red button, blame everybody you can. Then we shall waltz back over to the right after you've kicked everyone off. Uh, do the same thing again with the sleeping slash dead guy. I don't know what he's doing, but I mean, he's about to be dead for now. Then head over to the right again and interact with the console this time. And that has pretty much served the door. So this is always a fun one then. We're going to be woken up by small alien bro, interact with the left hand side to get Steve out and about again. And yes, we are going to be doing another Steve level here. So this one, um, I'm pretty sure all we have to do, I accidentally um, ended up finishing it, but what we have to do is, I'm pretty positive you've just got to use every colour on the board here. I don't think it matters too much where, but I put all the colours together um, just as one. So I think you've got to use all the colours and then I just drew a nice happy alien painting uh, at the end with the black. So use all the colours and then just draw whatever you want with the black at the very end. I drew a happy alien, as you'll see soon.
my little alien there? He's got nice alien head. He's got water spouts coming out of him, and he's got two little arms. I, I couldn't, uh, or two fat arms. That is exactly what I drew, and if you think it's any different, you're sick. <laughs> Hilariously. But I'm pretty sure that's all you got to do then for the 100. Right, so what we're going to do for this level proper then, you've got to interact with the screen and literally just use all the five emojis. That's all we're doing for this level. So click on the screen, use all the five emojis, watch the ensuing cutscene of hilariousness, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Hey, watch where you're putting that bloody knife. So now that all five emojis have been done, interact with the screen and interact with the top screen to punch the screen. And then the alien will be like, oh my god. And then we just fly off into the distance because we is king. Finally, finally onto the last one then. So, what we're gonna do is grab the the box on the left, which has the bomb in it. You literally just have to drag it all the way to the right until we get inside the bunker. Head down and place it right there, right there, boy. And, uh, well, now it's supposed to be like a Space Invaders game as we head to the right. But what's going to happen, you should get the achievement there, you won't make it back in time. But when we go and drive to the left, press the A button to explode yourself and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So for this one, just go ahead, grab the right-hand side box, the one with the dynamite in it, and just do the same thing. Drag it over to the right, place it down, go out and shoot, and that's it.
And for the last one, grab the middle box, go all the way to the right to do all that stuff again, only this time we will be vinning. So now we will be winning then, uh, so you don't actually have to hit all the robots, all we're going to be doing is shooting a straight line through, just shoot the ship as much as you can until it explodions, there you go, doesn't take too long at all, and jobs your nans like a good uns. because I'm a bit of a silly sausage, sorry, we don't have 100% just yet, or I don't anyway, so we'll go back to round 2C, but thankfully it's over, and we'll obviously just get the last of the gags, again, whichever it is, whichever it is that you need, hopefully you've all got the same, <coughs> excuse me, but if not, then well, let's go, right, so, now we'll do this properly, interact with the ladder and the shovel, throw the shovel in, get the ladder in, and then this time we will grab the um, fire, actually grab the fire this time, so we interact with the fire, that'll put the bomb on it, that'll go kablamo! And there we go, that'll get us another couple of gags, but we're not, well one gag anyway, we're not quite finished yet though, so do the same, grab the ladder and the shovel, put the ladder in the window and get in. And this time, uh, we are going to kick Dad square in the face, grab the shovel, interact that with the flower pot, and then what we can do is hit hit the shovel with the bomb, and then that should now be that. There we go. So three that was missing, all job done. So now we can swiftly move on. So when we get there, uh, back to the main hub, remember, of course, to move to the left. So we'll be getting a, there's only three achievements in this hub world which we're going to get. The first one we're going to get as we go to the left past the garage. So what we need to do then is interact with this barbecue four times, stick some wieners down your pants. So, uh, you know, if the, look at the guy on the right, <laughs> just interact with the barbecue four times. That'll interact, that'll get you the barbecue in my pants achievement. I was just looking at the guy on the right there with the um, incredible sausage just chilling in his mouth. Um... But yeah, once that's done, we'll head all the way to the left here, go down the steps. We're going to interact with the dog, and we're going to interact with him twice so we can P-star-star star the dog. And it's not pet, no. So yes, you took a little cheeky pee on the dog. So you'll get the achievement, you can pee the dog. Um, but we, from where the dog was, sorry, we were just going to the left. I was just seeing if we could get the other World Hub achievement. A couple of midget Homer Simpsons right there. Uh, but interact with this scientist dude to start the next level. First up then, all we're going to do is get eaten by this spiky germ boy. So interact with him, you've actually got to interact with him to get eaten. And his teeth will be all like... Bleh. Bleh. 
Right, so we're on a volcano again, but it's not the volcano level. We're on a fish hunt or something this time. So interact and eat the fish to the left of you. You'll get eaten again. Fumigating. Nah, that ain't looking good, man. Not looking good. So with that one done, that's 30% done already. Wow. So on to the next one then. We are a dinosaur now. Believe it or not. <gasps> dinosaurs are alive. Here we go. So just interact then with this dinosaur right in front of you. You'll twirl next and it'll all be cute until certain death. So this caveman level did get a bit confusing and it has confused a lot of people. So first interact with the one worshipping the the excellent and that how, how how old does this make us feel by the way that now the Game Boy is considered ancient and a relic. Interact with the caveman on the left and then interact with the Game Boy itself. So you're going to be doing like a little bit of a mini game now. Um, the, it's a platformer, you're on rails, so you only need to press the A button to jump. So for this first bit, all we need to do is just jump over the gap once, and then we'll win. But then we'll get a hog, or something, some weird animal after us now, so we will have to run. Now, it's a bit of a weird one to get this achievement, so, again, you, you don't have to run or anything, we just need to jump over a couple of gaps. So, first of all, we'll jump up here, jump across this gap, Jump across this gap and the next one, drop down, and then stay right here for a minute. Wait until this caveman bro goes past, and as soon as you see the animal on the left, then make a break for it. Now, just drop down, jump, jump, and then make sure to fail going off the cliff. So make sure that you were going to fall off the cliff. This will get you the take this on your way down achievement, because you fail to make the cliff. Um, and then obviously the next time that we do this, you're going to jump when you're on the edge to get to the other side. So, uh, yeah, so if you did manage to actually just uh, get through to the other side, I think you will actually be saved. So it's a bit of a tricky one, that one there, to get right. But anyway, onto this one, interact with the tree stumps in front of you. Of course, when you need to go, you need to go. Spooky caveman dude will freak us out, then interact with the horse to drown. Job done. <laughs> Now we're in the war zone. Right, a few things to do. Uh, <laughs> McPixel gets his butt out, because, you know, that'll always offend. So we're going to kick both of these guys. Kick both of the guys, interact with the um, uh, the cupboard there to get the skeleton out. Then we're going to do a bit of tanking. Right, to get one, there's basically one specific guy on the right that we need to kill. First of all, we're going to shoot the car on the left. So turn it, shoot this car, and then on the right, there's one guy. The, that guy who was waving his arms right there, that's the only one that we needed to shoot and kill. I accidentally killed the two guys, so I don't actually get the tag for that one. So if you were, just, if you were wondering why not, it's because you only had to kill the one guy waving his arms. If you kill the other guy, it doesn't count. So just keep shooting the tank, nothing's going to happen, we're just going to get explodionaged. So this time around then, as the germ, the spermy germ, we're going to avoid the spiky boy. We are going to eat, so make sure to click on the, the certain foods that come around. So eat the first two, click on the burger, click on the carrot, and then leave the sausage. Do not eat Am's sausage, but then eat the creamy deliciousness, eat the green dildo thing, and um, you're going to get a power up, eat the power up, and that will get us another tag. So back as Mush McFishkel, McFishkel, officially McFishkel. So jump out, interact with the umbrella first. That's going to sprout us some legs because, you know, that's that's exactly what happened. 
we be we were just fishes and then we turn into rats with legs and then we turn into humans. Oh, job done. Interact with the water again, jump in, and obviously you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a good time. Mom, I'm not a fish anymore, it was just a phase. So, back to dinosaur land. So head down, interact with the down arrow. Interact with this dinosaur, give him a spin, a twirl, and a... Kibbe! Then I wondered if you've ever seen some dinosaur ponies, that's what we're doing. Going down and going between the dinosaur's legs. She's gonna be all like, oh! And the end of the world's gonna happen. But at least she had a good time before the uh, dinosaur species got extinct. That'll be the only way to go for me, personally. Being a dinosaur and having another dinosaur between my legs. Yeah. Cosplaying is getting all too real these days. So anyway, that'll get you the way to go achievement. And then we're back in the caveman territorial. So interact with the... Oh, jeez. In fact, no, we're not doing anything. We're just going to wait and we're going to die. That's effectively it for this one. So, there's more to this next level than meets the eye. We're just going to jump straight down. And then we're gonna we're gonna swim to the right. <laughs> and then we're gonna see a little tent that we're gonna go into. Um, ignore the bath, we're gonna interact with this left-hand side uh, towel. Give ourselves a little wipe down. And then we're gonna interact with the middle to change our clothes. The middle one, there's three pegs there, so interact with the middle one. I don't know who gets changed like that, by the way. And then we're going to interact with the middle one again. Until we are fully dressed once more. So head to the left and then head to the right. Uh, interact with the troll. He's going to slap you down and that'll do it. So, because I missed the one gag last time, we are going to... Oh, <laughs> just got shot down there. Um, so, we're going to just jump straight out the window. Remember, if you missed this gag last time, remember to just shoot the one guy on the right who was waving his arms only. So, try to avoid the guy on the right-hand side. Shoot him. There we go. And now, just wait until the, the timer counts down. If not, if you got it last time, all you had to do was just climb on the in the building, climb onto the boxes on the left-hand side. That would have got you the 100% and saving the day. So, back to El Drimo. And once again, we're going to avoid spiky, angry looking thing. This time we're going to avoid these foods. There's only one particular food we're going for. All the good stuff going past, but it's the snossage we're going for this time. So make sure to eat the snossage. Again, miss the delicious creamy whip stuff at the top. And you're just basically going to fart your way through to oblivion. So yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> That will, of course, get us the burp achievement as well. So, get yourself back up to land. And then we are going to immediately go and take a little sun tan. And that's going to be it for that one. Tanning is no good for you. Especially if you're sort of half ginger skinned like me. It's definitely no good for you. You turn red like Dr. Zoidberg. And then pure ghostly white. It's infuriatingly terrible. Right, so back onto dinosaur land then. We'll go back down. We're going to throw this dinosaur up in the air. Squiggly diggly go. Go back down and then what you're going to do is lick your own foot. Which apparently will make you vomit, which makes sense. Um, so, so yeah, just lick your own foot there. For some reason I thought it was um, one on the foot, one on the knee. But it is, you're just licking your own foot and then you're just being sick about it. Blech. Yeah. Because that's how you pull these days. You lick your own foot and then spew in someone's face. And they're going to be like, oh my god, I'm so happy you're right now. 
which is obviously a lie. Right, interact with uh, Game Boy Worshipping Caveman, then interact with this one. Have to do the mini game again. This time, though, we're not jumping over the gap. We're just going to fall straight down and die and get crushed. Okay, back with the fun stuff. Right, dive back in. <laughs> we're again going to go to the other side. Nipping inside of the uh, right side. Interact straight with the troll. And he's going to be all like, oh, kissy kiss. So give him a little kiss. Head back. Now we're going to go into the tent. That'll get us an achievement. Have a little bathe in the water. You must have been layer of. Look, and that's what we get after kissing the troll. Just have a relax. Right, interact with the left-hand side peg of the clothes. Now interact with the middle one. And finally interact with the right one. And you're going to be totally in the nude. Well... If it ain't hanging down below the black bar, that's not a good sign, is it? This time we can just walk straight past the troll since we already give him a little... A little, uh... Once we begin then, we will still be in the nude. We are just going to go ahead and kick to this guy. Or kick this guy, sorry. He'll raise the flag. And everyone will be like, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a guy with a raisin dick right there. I don't know why the other guy's pants fell down as well, but uh, anyway, interact with the left boxes right here. That will end this one and save the day. Well, it'll, you'll save yourself anyway. Alright, starting to get through these now. Right, so obviously we're not going to interact with angry, spiky Lisa Simpson haircut. Eat the asparagus, not the asparagus, the, the, basically we're all eating the healthy foods this time, so uh, the carrot there, then we are going to go ahead and eat this green pickly cucumbery pickle, and then we'll just interact with the power up right there, and that'll get us, that's how you feel after eating one carrot, by the way, uh, but apparently it saves the day, so we're all good. Back as old fish flaps, we're going to go back up onto the beach. This time we're going to go all the way to the right. And we'll just interact with the X. It doesn't mark the spot, it marks the, the sign of death. Do you not fear death? Right, we are dinosaurs once again, and there's only one more thing that we got to do in order to save the day and the dinosaurs. We're going to head back down. We're going to throw this dinosaur out of here. You bear. We're going to go down. And then we're going to go down again. We're going to stick our head down. And then, well, while everyone else dies, we survive. Like, hello. All right, more caveman stuff. And right, interact with caveman bro again. And then interact with Game Boy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. This time we are going to jump across the gap. There it is. So jump across and then we're basically going to do what we've done earlier. Except we're going to get to the other side of the cliff this time. So remember where we got the achievement last time for falling? We're not going to do that this time. So just wait here for a minute. And in fact, just continue to keep waiting until the bull slams you in the butt.
So we're back as the fish. Now I did actually mess this one up, so I do apologize about this one. I end up going back in the water eating the fish. What you're supposed to do is go under the umbrella, um, go under the umbrella, grow some legs, go to the right and interact with the X. That will save the day for you there. Uh, so I apologize about that one. So interact with the Game Boy here again. We are going to be doing the same thing once again. It's baby, it's baby, it's 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 jump. And then we will be doing the same thing here again. Um, but again, only this time we'll be jumping across the cliff. Remember with the achievement where we didn't? This time we're going to. So jump, jump across the gap. Jump, jump, drop down. Just wait here for a second. Just wait for the caveman bro to go. And as soon as you see the animal bull thing, now jump. Now make sure to uh, jump right at the very edge. And this time you will get across the other side and save yourself. So not only did we save the day, we also kicked him in a booth. Nice. Right, this time we're going to do it properly. Jump up. Now go and sprout your weird fish rat legs. There we go. And go to the right. Then interact with the spot. And yeah, that's it. That's job done. That's what I was going to do earlier. And then I flubbed it up. So yeah, my bad. So going past the uh, guy with the wiener in his mouth and all the wieners, uh, just head to the left and we're going to be doing some sports stuff now. So you're going to interact with the door, not kick the guy out in the ass twice. Uh, for some reason, this... what? I don't know, I just wasn't keen on these ones to be honest. I don't... for some reason they seem to take long, a long time even though they weren't as long as other ones. It just, yeah. Uh... Anyway, that was just my personal preference. I think it's just because there's so many on this one as well. But uh, we're going to get 100% in this one. So what we're going to do, we basically just need to kick all the competitors and smash them out of the way. So hit one, hit two, and then hit the third one behind you. Now you've got to be quick. Uh, after this one, there's a guy that's going to be flying straight past you. So you've got to just keep tapping the A button until he runs past. There he goes, look. So you've got to be kind of quick. And once you've done all that, you can just simply nip on through to the end, and that's 100% already done, so that's not too bad. We're sadly going to be coming back to this one quite a number of times. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here then, there's three that we need to get rid of. So, first of all, we're just going to not do anything. So just keep on sliding, boys. Now 
Now this one is actually a bit of a hilarious one. So the first thing we're going to do is just interact with the sand pit to knob your face in there. And now we're going for the mega ski jump of life. So as soon as you begin, we're pretty much just going to press the A button to just jump off. Job done. Ouch. So this is also a bit of a fun secret level. So what we're going to do, we're just going to play some volleyball with a bomb. Uh, now this is going to take around a minute, but literally you've just got to keep going back and forth. You'll automatically hit it. Um, well, it'll take about 20 seconds, actually. Uh, but either way, you will be exploded and you will also get an achievement for getting exploded. Tidy. So, with the big, uh, you know, one of these throwy things right here, we're just going to interact with the grass on the right-hand side to just uh, smite the shot put. That's what I was trying to think of, not the throwy thing. Uh, but interacting with the grass, you'll dive straight in, and that'll get one gag gone. Uh, next up, it's a bit of curling. Oh, yes, a bit of old people curling now. So, we're going to interact with the broom on the floor here, and then we're going to interact with the kettle, which that be, uh, which is going to explode. So, yeah. Can't beat a nice bit of football. Football. So we're going to interact with the ball to get it kicking off, but we're actually not going to do anything. We're just going to let the opponent score. The opponents will win. That'll get us a gag and tag and blag. And then a bit of ice hockey to finish off. So what we're going to do, interact with the puck on the ground. And once again, we're going to do absolutely everything to go straight up to the goal. And, uh, well, he's going to save it. So, yeah. So finally back to the beginning then, all we're going to do then is knock the one guy off. We're going to knock Baldy off, so just uh, interact with him and then just go over to the right and then with about five seconds left, just interact with Sasquatch, he's going to eat your hole, buddy. Not eat your hole, eat you hole, sorry, uh, ignore me. Right, we're going to make a run for it then. He will stop, so you do have time to do this, but we're going to interact with the ground this time. We're going to start spinning our legs like a helicopter. Now you have to make a choice, so you've got to go right first, then up. And then right again. And then right again until we... And right again until we smash into this brick wall. Job done. <laughs> Right, so we are going to actually reach the end of this one this time. And then when we do reach the end, with about three seconds left, we're going to press the A button. And that'll jump us off. So right about now, press the A button as you get to the bottom. And then you can pretty much just leave it, and then you'll just go splatto. Splatto. 
So, to get 100% now in this secret level, you've literally got to wait here until the timer is on one. So as soon as it's on one second, then press the A button to pick up the bomb and that'll explode all bald bags on the right. So make sure you just leave it until it reaches down to one second. If you do two seconds, you'll still get exploded. So wait till it goes to one second and then blammo, Marge. <laughs> Right, so for this one, all we're going to do is go ahead and hit the boulder of the two guys, and he's going to be really pissed off and smash us down. Fair news. So next up then, what we're going to do is kick the referee in the ass this time. So give him a boot, and now we're going to pick, uh, kick the other guy as well. Then we can pick up the broom, kick him, uh, kick both of the guys and hit them both with the broom, and then, well, as you've seen, he'll smash you down again. <laughs> right, so for the next one then, we have got football, and then this time what we are going to do is actually just hit all the opponents. So go all the way to the right, hitting everyone you can, including the goalkeeper. There you go, hell of a gut he's got as well, top professional he is. Uh, run back to the ball, I love the way Pixel Bags runs in this one. Then he can interact with the ball and he can just go ahead and score a goal, score it. By the way, I will show you, but you should have got the achievement unlock for you called Closing the Gap for Scoring Am's Goal. For some reason it didn't, uh, didn't fancy unlocking for me there, so that's nice. Right, anyway, back to the old ice hockey then. What we're going to do is hit our own player, and that's obviously going to piss the referee off. And, uh, yeah, we lose. So, once again then, when we're here, we're going to hit Baldy over, there we go, smash him over, and then, again, we're going to do absolutely nothing from this point on. So we go for the epic run of life. Uh, again, obviously, interact. we don't need to interact with the sandpit anymore, just the track. So we're going to fly, and then we are once again going to fly over to the right. Then to the right, and that'll smash us down, but that will get us the... The bar for this dive was high! Achievement. No, it won't yet, actually, sorry. Right, so again, what we're supposed to do now is jump off the end, and then when it gets to one second, then press the A button to land. Sometimes it's a bit finicky, sometimes it won't work. As you can tell right there, it just didn't work for me, although I did get another gag. Um, but you've got to wait until it gets to one second to land that one. So kick the other guy, and then we are going to hit the other guy. That will just get us one gag for hitting the left-hand side guy. And then we are back in the curling rink. So pick up the kettle. It looks like a kettle anyway. Kick the referee and pour, <laughs> pour the hot water all over his shoes. And that will get the bomb going again. Yeah. Right, back to football then. What we're going to do this time is kick all of the opponents and all of our own players. Now with only you on the field and you haven't been red carded, fantastic. See, this is how football used to be. Now everyone just dives and is fuming. So now what we're going to do is actually just head down and score an own goal. 
All right, Harry Maguire, no problem, slabhead. And hilariously, the other team don't get 100, 100 goals, they get uh, to zero, which, honestly, Sosowski, top, top man thinking of all this. And obviously, whoever else saw of any of these, these are great. So, back to the hockey then. What we're going to do is smash the referee over the nugget. We're going to have to get into a little bit of a fight as well. Uh, so, f just keep fighting all of the opponents until there's one left. Make sure, after you hit the goalkeeper, make sure to smash the goal open as well. That will get you the what's your goal there achievement. So that is for making sure you smash the goal up. And once you've smashed the referee to bits and every other opponent, you will also... Because <laughs> that's the whole point in ice hockey, isn't it? It's not about how many uh, goals you score. It's about how many people you can beat up in the uh, rink. So, uh, yeah, we're on to a winner. We're saved. We get 100% on this one. <laughs> Job done. Ah, oh, these are classics. Right, so we are back to the effectively the beginning now. So we're going to hit bald guy over again, and then we're we're actually going to go into the snowball this time. Row, row, row your boat. Back to the mega high jump then. So let's run like a king. Interact with the track again, of course. Next screen, we're going to the right. Then we're going to go up. And then we're going to go down into the swimming pool. Yeah, what a dive, mate. What a dive. Now, this is where the bar for this dive was high achievement will unlock. There we go. Right, so next up then. Uh, again, if you can, we're going to try and make a good landing this time. Now again, for me, like I said, with about a second left, not now, we're obviously going to jump here, but wait until you get to about one second, now do it, and again, sometimes that'll work fine, other times, as you can see, it doesn't. That one really did start to annoy me. But anyway, pick up the bomb for the next one, give it to uh, this guy, or punch him in the face, and then he's going to punch you in the bomb face. Boom. Back to El Curlo, we're just going to go all the way to the right and just kick the bomb. Boom. Oh, that hurts on so many levels. And then, of course, we are now back at the beginning one, so the old snowboarding. So we are going to go into the snowball this time and just collect everyone. So collect Baldy, or try to collect Baldy, uh, but you will collect the uh, snowplow monster, smash him in the face. And then just continue to roll down lovingly and peacefully. Right, let's run. Again, interact with the track, of course. Then you're going to go to the right. Go to the up. Go to the right again. Go down the hall. And, well, you've just ended up in Australia. Because that's how it always works out, doesn't it? Or if you're from Australia, if you go down the hall, then you'll end up at the top of the, the earth. That's Don't argue with me. It's just scientific facts and reasons. Right, trying to do this son of a monkey gun again. So we're going to jump here fine. And then wait till it gets to a second. And then hopefully... There we go, this time we actually land it. I mean, we do fall this time as well, but, well, fall into a brick wall, but we do get an achievement for it. Very finicky, that one. Not not the most favorite of ones in here. Anyway, that's done, but not quite done yet. So for the next one then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the bomb. We are now gonna give it to the left-hand side guy, who turns into Elvis for some reason. <laughs> Oh, 
And of course, we'll get the achievement there called Touchdown as well. Right, back into the curling, we're going to pick up the kettle. We are going to interact with the broom, and that will make it all squiggly and stuff. Now you kick this guy, pour the water over his shoes, and then that'll do it. Okay then, right, what we'll do now is we're going to kick Baldy, and then we're going to go back into the snowball, and then we're going to smash this guy out of the way as well, and then we will simply roll and wait with a headache. That is how you win at all sports. Just get into a big snowball and roll down. Right then, let's go for another f leg helicopter fly. To the right, up. To the right again. To the right again. And this time, make sure to land on the podium on the top step, and that will be a wiener. Right, this is another bit of a finicky one with this one. Well, what we're going to do, when we get to the bottom, we need to jump and then we need to grab onto the bird's leg as quick as possible. Sometimes it'll do it fine, other times it won't. As you can see, I clicked on the bird and it still made me flash my head down there. So, but that's what you've got to do. So for this one, what we're going to do now is head up. We're going to do a bit of climbing up. Um, have a look down and, yep, it's going to hurt again. <laughs> So we are getting close to the end now, but what we will do here is interact with the broom. We are going to go over to the right, interact with it with the bomb, and that's another explosion. Although that didn't actually give us a gag that time, I do apologise, I thought it did. Uh, so that's my bad on that one. Um, but again, what we're going to try and do here is just grab onto the bird. So hopefully it'll do it this time. There we go, it did. Finally! Okay, so pick up the bomb, climb up the fence, and then what we're going to do is throw the bomb down. So just throw the bomb down and that'll do it. Right, so let's get this one right, shall we? Pick up the kettle, go over to the right, interact with it with the bomb, and that should do it. Right, let us pick up the bomb once again. We're going to go for a little climb up again. And this time we're going to throw it to the left. So left and down. Explosions once again. People fuming. And then let's carry on. Right. So uh, we are going to kick left guy in the bowels. We are going to climb up. Then we're going to go down to the left this time. That'll smash both of them up. And then they're going to be like, let's get rid of it. Arr. So he pissed him off so much that he gets rid of the bomb. Bang tidy and that'll do, pig. That'll do. So this time we don't have to go too far, go to the left one screen, go down, and then we're just going to interact with the ticket machine here, 750 bucks for a train ticket seems rather expensive, but uh, well, once again, tis the stuff we need to do to get those sweet, sweet sounding G's. So 
So these are a bit of fun. So first thing we're going to do is just simply get on the train and wait until the timer runs out. That's pretty much all we're going to do. So have a little wander around, see who we can see. It's not like Batman was going to come and save the day, was he? Huh? Huh? Nah, he's not coming. Anyway, that'll do for the first one. And then the second one, we are here with the bear chasing us. He looks pretty scurry. But what we're going to do is go into the tent and we're just going to interact with basically all four items here. So that's all we're going to do. Make sure to leave the bee honey for last though. Uh, but that's all you're going to do for that one. So with the next one, all we're going to do is interact with the bomb just outside, just by the uh, left of us. And that'll do it for this one. So for this secret level then, what you're going to see at the top is a list of basically all the items that we need to go through. So as you can see at the top, by pressing the D-pad left and right, you can see which ones. So you literally just have to go through each one of those. So we'll start from the left, which is a burger, and then just make your way all the way through to the right. And that's about it for this secret level. It's nice. So we're going to be doing a lot of Steve stuff right now with this one, so go up, behind the fence is Steve. We haven't seen this douchenbagen for quite a while, and yes, we are going to have to do some Steve stuff. So he's basically just in a car, and again, all we've got to do then is interact with everything in this car. So we'll press the A button to go in now. So you need to interact with the steering wheel, the indicator, and then all the various buttons in the car. Still very easy. So you've got four buttons we need to interact with, the radio as well, steering wheel and the indicator. This place actually looks quite banging, but we got a few things to do. First of all, interact with the coin or whatever that is, the E tablet on the right. Then pet the guinea pig, whatever that is in there. Then go to the left and interact with this angry Jeebus looking bro. Right, now we're going to basically burst for a wee, but we're actually just going to stand here and not do anything. And we're actually going to be doing this a lot just while we finish off the Steve levels as well. We're just going to piss our pants for a while. So, in order to not die and crash on the train, all we're going to do is simply not get on it this time. So stand right here until the timer runs out and you will save yourself. So remember for this one then, go inside and interact with the next item, which will interact with the top shotgun. And you'll still somehow miss. Yeah. Alright then, let's go and take a look in the shop. So head in, 
What we're going to do first then is interact with the guy. He's going to basically just shake us and uh, that's not going to go too well, is it? No. Right, interact with the thing in the top left hand corner, the bag of crisps. Then interact with the middle of the, so we can eat some stuff, so the middle of the shop here, the shelf. Then we're going to interact with the middle right shelf to have a little drinky drink. And then interact with both of the counters on the right hand side. So the first one and then the next one to the right so you can drink more and eat more. And then that'll be doing it for us. We explode our pants. Uh, well, apparently we're exploding in the slushy machine. That's what slushy is made from. Oh, Jesus. Poop slush. Mmm. So if you ever see some brown slush in a slushy machine, you know why. <laughs> Right, on to the next one, secret level. Remember, we're just going through all of the orders. So we've done burger first, we'll do magnifying glass now. And for some reason, magnifying glass is spanking us. Because why the hell not? So you get the achievement there, not that game, but we're just going to go ahead, go behind the fence and do Steve. And then remember to do the little car level. Remember the four buttons you've got to push and then the steering wheel and indicator. Just push all of those, obviously one at a time. And then job done. Steve. Peace and tranquility about to be disturbed. So interact with the big fish in the middle. Then we're going to go over to the right, interact that with the tablet. Then we are going to go over to the left and give it to the angry G bus looking hungry bro. Next, we are going to kick this guy in the butt and he's going to obviously be fuming and that will do it. So next up with the bear one, we're going to go into the right. We're going to interact with the very with the um, very right hand side item, which was the honey bee honey. Now let's go and cause more havoc and chaos in Fart Mart. <laughs> so interact with the woman, give her a punch in the face, and then interact with the very left hand side newspaper bit um, and that will pretty much everyone will just be pissed off obviously never do that in real life because that's just douchebangery moves we're only doing it in game because no one gets hurt right now choose the third option for the secret level which is the uh well in fact no don't choose the love heart because that'll save it choose the one to the right of the love heart which would be the fourth option there <laughs> Please don't come again. Sorry, a bit of a poo right there. Right, so interact with the E tablet again. Hit the guy in the back with it and then obviously give it a little chow down. Yummy. I wouldn't recommend you eat an E pill. If you ever find one, don't eat a pill with an E on it. Trust us all on that one. It's no good for you. No good for you. Right, same thing, pizzle your pants. And finally, interact with the tent, then interact with the bell, and that'll do it, and that's for all she wrote us.
this time, baby. Right, so back in the shop, go back into Fart Mart. Interact with the slushy machine to just dive in. Oh man, this game is ridiculously good and funny. So, next up then, we're back into the secret level. Now we're going to choose the uh, one which is, I believe, the fifth option now. There it is, the toilet option, yes. <laughs> So, for the next bit then, grab the El Fisho again. There he is, lovely. Now give the guy a whack with it to give him a bit of a fish back. He's going to be like, actually, damn girl, like it. And then you're automatically going to smash him in the face again. <laughs> what a way to piss people off. So this time with the fart mart, what we're going to do is interact with the bollard, pick that up, go inside and then we're going to smash everything that we can. So the crisps first on the top left corner, then we're going to hit the woman over the head with it, she's not going to be happy understandably, then we are going to hit the slushy machine again, that'll get that going. <laughs> Again, interact with the fish, hit the uh, guinea pig thing in the right, uh, give him a spank, yeah, <laughs> we're out of it. into the shop, into Mr. Fat Mart we go again. So grab the bollard, and then we are going to hit the crisps in the top left corner again. Then we are going to hit the sort of paper on the left. Then we are going to hit all, basically all of the middle of the shop here. So all of the shelves, the two shelves on the right, and finally interact with the uh, guy putting slushy in the slushy.
right, since we're all finally steved out then, head to the right, all the way to the right sign, give that a little whack, it's going to hit you on the face. <laughs> and then uh, interact with the board to turn the arrow around. get this one done right interact with the bush to just nip straight behind it taint's still gonna go well Finally, for the final time, this one, pick up the light right next to you and you're going to do that airplane stuff where you're going to be like, eh, no, go away, eh. That, my friends, is how you get lorries to fly as well. Right, now we're going to start doing stuff. We're going to take a whiz on the car. Obviously, that's not really going to go well with Old Man Jenkins right here. Interact with Old Man Jenkins. He's going to whack us on the head. And that's going to get... Now, this is kind of a long... Just a long sort of level on it by itself. This sort of sub-level here. Right, so next we are going to take a... Uh, we're going to interact with the... Uh, back of the car and then interact with the car again. So after you pee on it, interact with the car again. You'll pull something out. Then interact with the bike. That'll get you going. Old Man Jenkins will try to follow you in the car. <laughs> and then all we're going to do here then is we're going to interact with the lorry or the or the, the bike, sorry. Or the lorry, the bike. Then we're going to interact with the lorry. Let's take a whiz in the corner. <laughs> Just <laughs> and again, old man Jenkins is gonna be like, "Oh, stop pissing on my ass, you son of a goddamn!" So we are going to uh, just interact with the bike straight away this time. Let's get him going. On to the chase sequence. Kick the the guy off the motorbike again, and then we're going to interact with the old man himself. <laughs> Right, so this time we are going to take a whiz on the bike. <laughs> That'll get us the achievement there for yes. It is it is the correct thing to do actually. Go on the bike again, we're gonna get back onto the old Shast and Sark ones. So you've gotta be quick. You've gotta either choose left or right. I'm just gonna choose the left left path first. Uh, it doesn't matter where he goes, because you've got to go left and right anyway, so just go left and right, whichever one is good for you. So take a, another whiz. We're also going to be getting old man grand, grandpa out. So get on the bike again, go again, and just do nothing again. This time, right after the cutscene, make sure to click right so that we can go through the right path.
Okay, and cracking on with it. Right, interact with the car to whiz on it and interact with it again to pull the ting out. That is very important for this next part. Go down the chase path again, do nothing again for a second. Now after this chase sequence ends, make sure to go down the left path. So hit left, and because we pulled the thing out from underneath the car, he should now crash straight into the middle barrier, which is unfortunate. And we'll do the same thing again then. Just for a laugh, we're gonna piss on his garage this time. Man, McPixel has a lot of whiz. And obviously after this bit then, remember to uh, interact with the car again to pull out the thing from underneath. And then get on the bike again, do the chase sequence, and after this chase sequence, make sure to go down the right hand side path. Do it now. Or oh, wait a minute. Okay, one more short easy level left to go and that is it for this one. So, first things first, what we're going to do is we're just going to interact with ourselves. In fact, you know what, I did actually take my time there. If you take too long, you will interact with nothing and he'll just go down automatically, which we're not going to do anything about. So, you can just go straight down. So this time when we start then we're going to go to the right. And finally we're going to interact with the bike. So we interact with the bike itself, throw it down and obviously then Pixel Head will make, will do well, you will have more sense. Walk down and that's the end of that chapter. So, time for a bit of fun fair stuff now. Past the old wacky side disc, which we've already done, of course. So now we're gonna spend 1,500 buckaroos or so going into the fun fair, which that doesn't seem very fun to me. Okay then, so first things first, we'll just go over to the right, get kicked in the face, then we'll interact with the woman, who was also going to give us a hit, then we'll interact with the trade guy here on the left, and then we can actually just go onto the right itself. Now what you've got to do then, you've got to try and hit the guy sitting next to, to your left first, eventually when it uh, all appears. So try and hit the guy to your left, uh, I accidentally don't do that, for some reason the controls were a bit finicky, so I ended up just interacting with myself and then inter interacting with the top left guy to choke him. 
So yeah, effectively you're just gonna interact with everyone on that ride first. Right, so into a prison or a court. What we're gonna do first then, we're going to interact with the uh, picture, smash that with the, over the guy's head and explode. Yeah, it's simple stuffs really. This is a bit of a funny one, mine. So we're going to interact with the mirror first. Look at yourself. Kiss yourself. And then interact with the bald guy. Then interact with the outside world. So head outside. Interact with the sleeping homeless guy to pop him out. Go outside. Go to the right in order to take a whiz inside the car. So <laughs> and then go back. Hit the homeless guy. He will give us the keys. There we go, so make sure to grab the key from his hands and then go to the car and you're basically you're basically just driving around in your own whiz. Because why not? I bet there's a lot of people that uh, can say they've never done that. For, for good reason, I, I assume. Right onto the secret level then. Again, just like the last secret level, there's going to be a whole bunch of dance moves at the top. Um, you've just got to pick every single one of them, so it's nice and easy going from left to right. So for this level, for a lot of the time, we're just going to be doing the same thing once again. So it's going to be mostly just interacting with the water cooler. Um, yeah, we'll just be doing that quite a few times because we're going to be coming out to a Steve level very soon again, which is always fun, right? <laughs> right, back on the roller coaster, jump straight in. And again, try and interact with the left-hand side guy and then the top right-hand guy as well. There we go, so that's two of them. Nicely done. It's bomb. It's bomb, yes? Right, interact with the prisoner himself, give him a kick up the butt, and then interact with the bomb, throw him in the bin, and that's not going to do much apart from blow yourself up. Right, okay, uh, we can kick this guy again, doesn't matter, we're just going to interact with the left-hand side um, dressing room, and then head out all the way to the left and be booed. I'm going to be booed a lot. It's not going to be very nice for our self-esteem, as it were. So picking that second option there will get us the uno, dos, tres achievement. Right, so for this one again, uh, what we're going to do is interact with the uh, right-hand side. So kick kick the one guy. Uh, doesn't actually make a difference there just to finish the level with the water cooler. Right, this time then, when we get onto the roller coaster, we are just going to jump out of the right-hand side. And that's pretty much just going to, well, that'll sort us out. Okay, bam! Right, back into the courtroom then. We are, first of all, going to interact with the bomb. Kick the doors on the right, and that'll do it for that one. Right, so interact with the right-hand side dresser room this time, and then head out to the left to be booed for some more self-esteem bashing. I mean, we are in the nude, but, you know, still, it's impressive. You can't beat a wondrous two-inch sausage, can you? No, no. <laughs> So we won't be getting on the ride for the next one, just interact with the metal beam right next to it and we're going to sort of 
pump it and twerk on it for some reason. Hell of a twerk on the dude, don't fair dudes. But anyway, that'll save the day, and all you have to do is twerk on the metal beam. Fit. Fit as. I'm going to try that one and record it all for you. We're back in the courtroom then, interact with the bin, and then interact with the uh, prisoner, then interact with the bomb, then interact with the picture, and we're actually going to grab that axe out of there. Then we can interact with the prisoner again with the axe. And then we can just go to the right and end this one. So this time around then for the fashion one, we're gonna interact with the middle one and then head out to the left. Courtroom drama. Courtroom drama. Interact with the bin to get the hammer. Interact with the glass to get the axe. Hit the prisoner over the head and then with the axe, chop off the chain, pick up the bomb, throw it to the right, and everyone's gonna crap and pants. Understandably. So, with the courtroom drama done, we're going to head out to the right, head up, go to the left, and yes, it is, once again, more Steve levels, just in case you haven't had enough Steve levels just yet, more to come. Now, this one is a bit more, it's its not as complicated, but it can be a pain in the butt. So, click the on button, and you've got to hold the button until, as you can see, I messed that one up, but you've got to hold the button until the grabber goes over the four items but some of the items you need to you need to sort of stop just before and then some items you need to stop dead on the middle it's a bit it's a bit weird to be honest it did take me a few tries in all fairness doing this next dance move we've got one left to do again hit the water cooler for this one we will do this one in just a bit and again so for the time being all we're doing then is doing these steve levels so I'll show you what I mean with the first one. So again, hit the button on the left and then hold the button until you are capable until you realize that you're over it. You think you get it there? No. You've got to literally stop where all of the items are poking out. You've got to try and stop just on top of those. So for this last one, then interact with the floor, and then this will be the final one done. You pull your pants. <laughs> you pull your pants down. Man, I'm exhausted. Uh, spin on your head while your wiener's flopping about. It's, uh... I've got nothing else to say about that one. But laugh. So, again, all we're going to be doing for now then is drinking this water cooler and then doing these Steve levels. Actually, before we do that, what we're going to do is squeeze this homeless guy out. We're going to get inside of his camp, or inside of his tent, sorry. Go up and then go to the Steve level. That'll get us a few more gaga taggers. <laughs> Steve. 
genuinely is just so bizarre, but I love it. That's why I'm waiting for McPixel 1 and 2 to come on the Game Pass, which would be nice. Uh, right, so we've done the Steve stuff. We're going to finish off this level now. So what we're going to do is just head out to the left in our plain clothes. Are people going to love it? Nah. Still nah. Right, so what we're going to do this time is drag the sleeping guy and actually pull him up to the water fountain. That'll fill him up like a balloon and we'll start getting the gags going for this one. So, back to the fashion show, we're going to go out to the right, we're going to squeeze Homeless Bro out, we're going to get inside his tent, and then we're going to head all the way to the left, and that is what will win this. Oh no, we're going to eat his foot first, because that's, again, what you always do. Sorry. So, got a little bit ahead of myself, we're going to finish it the next time. My bad, my bad. Right, so for this one, uh, again, we're just actually just going to finish this one off. Um, I dig a little bit of ahead of myself. Do apologise. Please don't hate me. So, squeeze out Homeless Bro again. Get into tent. This time, leave the dirty homeless man's foot alone. And now we can go all the way to the left to save the day. Yeah, America, flub, yeah. Right, let's do it then. So, grab the sleeping dude and drag him over to the left. And we're going to interact with the chimney. And then we are just going to uh, leave him. Interact with water. So we only interact with water at the end there just to finish off the level so we don't have to wait 10 seconds every time. So for the next one, go to the left. Interact with the chimney again. Go over to the right. Fill it up with water. And then just pour it over yourself, just because, and then that's, uh, well, explosions, explosion central again. Right, go to the left, interact with the chimney, and then just drop it off. That will do nothing. Then take a whiz on it, and then that will also do nothing, unbelievably. Uh, go back to the right, just finish off by drinking the water. You will get the, this is my missile, by marking your territory, hilariously. And for the last one then, what we'll do is interact with Broski, drag him over to the left. And we're just going to throw him off the edge. We know what we're doing, see? No death, still sleeping. And, uh, well, death for him, he's going to go somewhere and explode. But anyway, that one is done. So on to the next couple of levels that we've got to do now. Uh, quite a few things that we've got to do in this level. So first off, what we're going to do is go to the left. All the way to the left. Interact with the bin to get... Ah, yes, it is Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you, friend? Good? Oh, that's great. So for this one, all we got to do is just get all the ingredients uh, mixed together. So there should be 10 mixed ingredients that you should be doing. So what I ended up doing with the chocolate first is put the chocolate and then everything else. And then the bacon and then everything else. And just keep going until you've got and done all 10. Um, yes. So yeah, Steve's back. Great. Right, go to the left again. Uh, all the way to the left again. Interact with Steve. And he's just going to, in fact, he's just going to keep doing this. Yeah. So just keep doing this until the Steve levels are done again.
Oh, God, that seemed like it took forever, which it pretty much did. But Steve Levels is done for the time being, so we're going to grab the bomb, go to the left. We are going to interact with the bus. Just go all the way to the left. There we go. And explosion you on again. Right, so we're going to pick up the bomb again. We're going to go to the left side, one screen. And two screen, and we're going to interact with the bus stop sign this time. That'll smash the homeless guy in the head and give his uh, nugget a bit of a brain explosion. Right, and back to it then. So we'll grab the bomb again, go to the left one screen this time, and we are going to throw it down the tuberella, the tamborello, the tuba baba. Then we're going to go to the left and interact with the bus stop sign to give it a hug and a twerk again. Right. Okay. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do, pig. Right, so, once again, we're going to grab the bomb. We're going to go to the left. And then we're going to use it on the drum. Give that a bong, bang, and a boom. Right, so, this time we're just going to go to the left. We're going to interact with the drum again, just to stick our head in it. Ow, 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 ow. And then interact with the tamborello, tiborello, tumba baba, whatever that thing's called. No, not tamborello, that's uh, that's a corner in Monza, isn't it? Anyway, go to the left, go up the pot, uh, go up the dock, up the pier, kick the fisherman into the water, head back, go to the right, and then just dive off. And you're not going to go straight into the water, you're going to smash your head in. Right, so, once again, we're going to grab the bomb. And then we're going to go and drop it down the pier where we just were. Uh, I don't know if that's going to make... Uh, in it does, yeah. Sorry, we do get a gag for that one. So, I didn't. I forgot if it did or not. Right, once again, then, we're going to head inside the building. It's not going to go too well. we go again so go to the right hand side screen this time interact with the window itself hello and now we're going to interact with the fish on the right hand side it's going to get us an achievement this is fishy you sort of just poked his fish tits right there it's always funny head back to the left grab the bomb head inside and everyone's going to be like oh crap man So, let us begin by grabbing the bomb, going to the right, interacting with the window with it to smash it in. That's obviously, again, not going to go too well. And here we go again. So, go to the right, ignoring the bomb this time. We are going to interact with the door and you're going to sort of... You're going to take a leak inside the door. The one I like fish is like, ah, oh, bruh, come on. So after relieving yourself again, head to the left, grab the bomb, go back to the right, and then we're going to uh, use it on the sailor with a cigarette and then throw it in the door. Uh-oh, fish is like, ah, crap. Well, this ain't going to go down. But since nothing happens, fish is lucky. Interact with the door again to get the bomb back and just put it on this fish. And then go to the right. And we're going to throw it. We're going to use it with the sign right there. So that means we'll pick up the sign. Give that a smash. Getting closer. Getting closer. Right. Head to the right again. Interact with the Sailor Moon. To, to, to blow him up. <laughs> looking, looking like the puff. The puffy monster from Ghostbusters. Oh, right, okay. This time, pick up the bomb, go to the right. Get in closer to the end now, thankfully. Go all the way to the right. And we're going to put this right in the middle. Big giant fish will eat it. Throw it back. 
and we will interact with the sign. Hit the fish, <laughs> we will we'll still explode. Oh man, this game. Never ending source of entertainment. Right, so again, we're going to uh, go to the right. Head all the way to the right this time. Interact with the middle bit, and we're just going to get eaten. It's not going to go well. Minim. And we're almost done, finally, with this level. So, once again, head to the right, ignoring the bomb. All the way to the right. And for the final time, we're just going to dive off to the right. And <laughs> we're going to get caught by police. Ah, oh, man. One more. Literally one more to go now. Swear down. Swear down, bruh. And that is literally just by heading all the way left and going onto the bus. That's all we had to do. So on to the very last sub-level then. Right, interact with the vent on the left-hand side first of all. Next, grab the uh, pole from beside you, hit the surfer dude, kick him in the balls and smash it over his head. And that's another gag, and then we'll do the same thing but hit the bus driver this time. So. Grab the pole, go ahead and whack the bus driver. Yeah, sorry dude, I know you're trying to drive, but uh, but doing this every time, we'll need to be doing this quite a few times, because <laughs> we'll get grabbed by Eyeball Pete, Eyeball Paul right there. So, um, once we get up here, there we go, we're going to grab the surfboard, and we're going to stick it on the surfer's head, and then we're going to jump on it, and yeah, tidy. That's not going to go too well. We die. So, here we go again then. Grab the pole. Smash it over the bus driver's nut nugget. Again, we can just press the B button, of course, to skip all this. Next up, we are going to interact with the vent on the left-hand side in order to whiz in it. And that'll put out some fire. And then we're going to lick the eyeball. We're going to lick the eyeball off the monster. That will get you the take care of your eyeballs achievement. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> right. So, do the same thing. Pull the bus driver on the head. <laughs> then what we do this time then is grab the surfboard. So grab the surfboard and we'll stick it square in the monster's eye this time. He will drop it, he cry, we die. So, once again, grab the surfboard. And what we're supposed to do is actually throw it in the left-hand side one. That'll get that going and we will, yeah, that's another one. Right, so for the final time then, um, well, almost the final time. So what we do, take a whiz in the left-hand vent, grab the surfboard, and then make sure to put that in the le in the eyeball of the monster. We'll pop that one in the eyeball of the monster, and then we're going to be doing a big super fight. So when we begin then for now, all we're going to be doing is hitting the monster. So just go towards him and keep smashing him in the eyeball. It's not going to go too well. Too well. So after we get missiled in the back, we'll have to do the same thing again. So smash the bus driver over the head, of course. 
And then we're going to take another whiz in the left hand side vent. Then we're, of course we're going to grab the surfboard. And then we're going to just stick that in the monster's eyeball again. So when we get through all this this time. Super. Superb stuff. We are going to uh, just go down. So use the down icon this time. There we go. And missile smash. He's still sleeping, mind. Not for long, he ain't. Boosh. That's how you defeat El Monsteroni. Co. <laughs> Now, very awesomely, we can catch a bus, which is nice. So, interact with the bus stop sign, and then what it'll do is basically take you all the way to the left. That's what we want. Uh, we're going to get a, the last achievement here in the hub world. So, if you just head to the right, you can kick the fisherman off if you want. But what you're going to do, you can either kick the woman or the man, kick him off, and then kiss the other person. And that will get you the date poacher achievement. Yay! So you can do it whichever way you swing. It's completely up to you. You can kick the woman off and kiss the man. Or like I did, kiss the man, kiss, uh, kick the man, kiss the woman. Anyway, head to the left. You can kiss your old CEO lover if you want. Um, we will be back. That's the last complete. Uh, that's the last round we'll be doing. So we just head all the way up. We're basically going to be doing now what's called a bunch of heist levels. So there's 10 heist levels. Um, again, pretty much, you know, they're still very, very easy and everything. But there are a couple of achievements in it which you can miss, which if you do end up missing them, you will have to replay the heist again. So it's very important to get the achievements at the same time I do, uh, just so it saves you from having to replay the entire 10 levels again. Oh look, Albert Einstein's back in brick form. So, let's do it then. Right, first of all, now if you do end up failing a heist for whatever reason, you just restart at that level. You don't actually restart the whole thing. So, uh, climb up the fence first, and you go, eh, and then fall down. Interact with the paper. And then you just need to interact with both of these icons. So, the first one will drop down, which will be the shovel or the, uh, the uh, shears, whichever one you picked. So, grab the shovel. And then just dig. It obviously, tank gonna work. Then, of course, it's the same for the other one. So, when we're back here, pick up the paper, interact with the shears, and then just when they drop down, interact with the fence, of course. And since we've done those two, and apparently, somehow, nothing's worked. It's very nice, though. We're going to interact with the bottom right-hand corner one, which is a bomb. And this will actually get us the, why did you pick this up? So, obviously, this one is unmissable, but the next couple you are going to have to do. Um, so, just wait until you explode on. Nickelodeon. So you actually had to do all these, you couldn't head left before, now we can head left. And we're going to be like, oh man, really? That, that face. Right, so this is a little bit of a stealth section, very easy enough to do. If you get caught, you just start from the beginning of this section, of course. Just wait until the guard goes up, go up here, and then just go up again as quick as you can, head to the right. Now wait for this guard to go all the way left, he does look again. Now we can go down, and then up, right. Up, right, down, right, down, right, and then all the way up. When we get all the way to the up, we're going to go all the way to the left. So 
So this acts as like a sort of first person shooter thing. Can be kind of disorientating at first, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we'll kick that do door down, but leave it for a moment. Go to the right and interact with this door. We're gonna get a missable achievement um, right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we will just go ahead and kick all of the boxes out of the way. Again, it can be very disorientating. Uh, but try and keep your way. Kick the door down, go straight. Straight into this door, into the bathroom. Now, what we're going to do for the Why Did You Break It achievement, we're just going to break down a couple of doors and kick a couple of toilets, and that will get that achievement. Um, so, yeah. So, obviously, again, if you miss any of these achievements that are coming up, you will have to replay the heist from the beginning, so be wary of that. There we go. Since we got that one, we can head back, go to the right, through to the first door we kicked, and straight through to the next one. Right, this one's not too bad. Um, you've j you can't get hit or k get killed by these enemies, but there are two enemies with guns. So, obviously, just jump over. The first enemy with guns, you need to jump over the bullets, otherwise you will die and restart from this section. And the first one's coming up just after these guys here. So, here it is then. So, jump over the first bullet and the second one. The second one actually caught me twice. Here he is. So, yeah, as long as you avoided those two... This is the end of this section, which is good. Now we're going to be coming up to... Hey! Einstein, you prink! Get back here, old white Hitler. I know Hitler was already white, but you know what I mean, white-haired Hitler. Anyway, so this is like a sort of drive-in section now. All you got to do is avoid the money bags and just pick up the three barrels. And once you've got that third one, there we go. Right, the next one is, you. everyone remembers Battletoads and everyone remembers this annoying, crappy-ass bit of Battletoads. Yes, it's the same thing. Uh, obviously not nowhere near as hard. So uh, it's not too bad, but there is just a section at the end where he drops uh, two brick walls in a row uh, at the top and the bottom. So just be aware of that. This one actually did take me around six times to do. So yes, you're not alone if you fail this a few times. Um, it's, it's very short, you know, once, once you've got it down, it's not too bad, but it was a pain in the bunder snatch in all fairness. Right, this one, just keep shooting, but he will shoot some rockets, which, again, you will just start from, this, the, uh, from the section. So, if it makes it easier for this bit, just go up and down, because uh, the rockets can somehow miss your um, bullets, which is annoying. So, just keep sort of going up and down, and uh, you will get this bit done easy. After he does this bit, he turns into a tank. Just keep shooting the top of the tank uh, where the rockets come out of. So you can just stay here and that'll do it. Fan just fan. So we're coming up to another fighting section then. Again, it's just like the one we've done earlier then. So obviously just take your, you know, take your time. Streets are raging up. Again, it's a very short section, so no worries. There will be after this guy, uh, two guys with grenades, a couple of guys with grenades. So just be aware. So head all the way to the right after, after the, well, there's the one grenade. But the, after this bit, there will be a guy, two guys with grenades on the left and right. So kill the one on the right first and then the left. So for the next achievement then, just make sure you get hit by at least one of these rockets. By Einstein, there we go. And now we can go and kill him. This can be a little bit frustrating, but if you can, just try and go up and down when he starts, starts shooting the rockets. And then just try and get a punch in before he gives you a kick. And if you can, obviously get him up to either edge of the screen in order to just kill him a lot easier. Um, again, unfortunately, if you do die there, you will have to restart the small section. Right, so for this next missable achievement, don't shoot the central crates. You see all these little buzzy, annoying pieces of crap coming towards you. 
you've got to kill all of these first, and then you can hit the central, uh, the central box. So make sure to kill all of these annoying little pieces of AIDS, and then you're good to go. And you know when you've killed them all because you will get the missable achievement. That's all of them. So nothing can destroy you. Nothing will destroy you. So just uh, smash the central uh, box done. Now, there is one more missable achievement at the very end of the 10th uh, heist level. And I messed it up so bad that it just really pissed me off. So for this next big fight then, uh, for some reason Einstein turns into a what looks like a Pringles can. The Pringles man. This one is literally just a, um, a quick time event section and it's very easy. You've literally just got to press the A button when you see the green appear. The green sort of button mashing one. I'll show you in just a minute. So we go super. The music for this bit is phenomenal by the way. I genuinely do love it. No, no, no. It's really, really genuinely super cool. Ah, man. Right, so he's going to throw the first punch. Again, as soon as you see the button mashing uh, icon appear, you will press it. Quick as you can. Here it comes! Now! So just do this for a couple of times and that's the end. Okay, so now we're right at the very end. Do not mess this up for the love of God. It's not even that very hard. So we interact with the box. Basically, he's going to give us um, an option where we can give him the, the floppy disk. Yeah, floppy disk. Or we can just throw it off the cliff. To get the achievement for throwing it all away, make sure that you go to the right-hand side of the cliff and throw the floppy disk off. If you kick the guy first, you will still throw the floppy disk off but you will not unlock the achievement and you'll end up with your hands and your eyes doing this like I was like oh so that's why I had to replay the entire heist again because Einstein tricked me stupid Einstein if he's so smart how come he's dead right so remember blah 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 we'll still get the check for a million bucks anyway but remember to go past Einstein over the cliff throw the floppy disk off get the throw it all away achievement. Do not kick Einstein first, otherwise my boy and girl, you just messed up.
right now, my boys and girls, time for the final round. So, catch a bus. Now, there was actually three levels as we go to the left. Hello, CEO, I'll give you another kiss. You look a bit down on your luck, to be honest. Now, ignore that I've got two million. Of course, I had to replay the heist because of my uh, colossal effort. Um, but, yeah, so there's basically three of these levels in which I didn't get the full... 100% gags in. So again, I apologize before we begin. Um, again, it's so very easy to sort of accidentally save the day before getting all the gags, which is pain in butt snatch. But um, yeah, so just thought I'd let you know right there. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be the final, uh, final one. This is going to take about roughly again about 25 minutes to 30 minutes to do, and then we've just got one more little section to do, and then it's game over. So head all the way to the right, and we're not going to be able to go through the door. No, no, no. Nothing's ever that easy, even though we just paid a million bucks to get in here, but still. So continue heading on to the right for now. And now we can finally pay the 20 coins that we needed for this bit. And guess who it is? It's a beautiful, bountiful, muscly picture of yourself if you are Arnold. Arnold McPixel. So let's save the day for the final time. Again, I do apologize. Three, um, three levels here that I ended up missing the 100% on for the time being. We have to replay it later. So interact with the uh, other guy's pillar to see you equals poo. Then grab the purple pillar thing, um, use that with the red bit to squash it down, then interact with your pillar and then his pillar, and then interact with him, and then smash him in the in the guts. And he kind of looks like Dick Van Dyke, doesn't he? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that, it's offensive now, apparently. Uh, DVD. Ah, DVD, sorry. Anyway, that'll be the first one done. Uh, Dickled van der Dykeld will be president and then we lose. So if we kick in uh, DVD in the balls, we get sent to prison. So what we're going to do first, this is actually one of the levels I forgot to get 100% in first, but uh, sorry. So interact with the jail, with the prison window, take a whiz in the toilet because, hey, well, you, you've got nothing else to do. Taking an awfully long time to pee. Um, then just go ahead and interact with the bomb. You will get the achievement there for taking a whiz. <laughs> which is not bad. So this one is actually generally very easy. You've literally just got to interact with each instrument. And that's pretty much all we're doing for this one. Welcome to the illegal rave, and with the class dancers, apparently. Right, so this is the next one that I didn't get 100% on, first of all, but I'll tell you what to do. First of all, we'll just interact with the crowd, and we will effectively not dive, uh, but we will get the achievement there, DJs don't stage dive, you maniac.
So this is also another fun one. But what we're going to do, interact with the uh, telephone in the top left-hand corner. Interact with the phone to pick it up, first of all. Otherwise, you can't dial any numbers. There we go, then. Ah, Jesus. Now we're going to uh, press the number 111. So 111. And then after the phone call, it, these are obviously all going to be wrong, so don't worry about that. F. Uh, so then just choose A as your answer. That's to get another gag going. So then, mate, back to the beginning. And what we're going to do first is interact with our own pillar. Have a look down, and we've got a couple of sheets to look at. Right, there it is. First one, we're going to interact with Dick Van Dyke, and then put a thumbs up. Hooray! And he still calls us poo, which is not very nice. Eh. Right, so with the next one, what we're going to do, just to keep it going a little bit quicker, we're just going to keep interacting with the bomb for the minute, just so we can get these couple out of the way. Again, like I said, remember, you just need to in interact with every instrument and microphone in order to get the full 100. Right, okay, so I accidentally go to the exit on this next DJ one. What you need to do is wait a few seconds until you're automatically on the DJ booth. So I messed up there, I went to the exit. So wait a few seconds, you get to the DJ booth. What you'll have is two records either side, which you need to interact with, and then three other buttons. Uh, so of two volume mixers and a, a, a third button, which you need to do to get the full 100 uh, for that DJ one. So for this one, uh, again, interact with the phone and the phone again. And the number we're going to call this time is 808. And what you can do is just choose B as an answer. I accidentally chose A again, but if you choose B, that's another gag and matag. Welcome back, you presidents. Right, interact with your pillar once again. And this time we're going to interact with the burger and put a thumbs up again. Now that, that is a winner. Whoever eats burgers is my president. Although if it was uh, Trump still in charge, he'd probably think the burger was his own daughter and try to grab it by the pussy again. Um, cause, yeah. Yeah, again, just chill out with the bombs for a minute. And again, instruments going nuts. Obviously, after this one, remember what I said about the DJ stuff. Um, just leave it a few seconds, interact with the two records and the three buttons on it, and then you can use the exit at the end. That'll get you the full 100. But back to who wants to be a poor A. I'm with you on that one. So we interact with the phone again, of course. Interact with the phone on the left. And then we are going to go for 911. 911. This time we will choose uh, the uh, B as an answer. Right-o, or left-o, whichever one. So interact with your pillar again when we get back here. We're going to interact with the baby and put a thumbs down. Very important to get the babies are evil achievement. Which, uh, I mean, they're not evil, but they just do your tits in, especially when they all projectile diarrhea and vomit up your arm. And 
Uh, you know, well, anyone with babies, you'll know. So we interact with the bomb again there, and that's fine. We're still doing this instrumenty stuff. Phone him up. Phone him, phone him. Right, number to press this time is 666. We're gonna phone Satan himself. He's probably the most helpful, actually. He tries to give us an answer, but we're gonna go with C. Get it wrong, but get a gagger tag. And there's only one more thing left to do here. We are going to grab the red thing next to us, crush our opponent, get the pillar, crush our opponent, get his pillar, crush the opponent, grab the purple thing, crush the opponent, and then you'll smash him down. You'll literally do... Um, and it, uh, Man, what bloody wrestling move is that? You know, when we push him through the table... Yeah, I'm sorry, I never really watched wrestling. <gasps> I know. Anyway... With that one done, we will. I only know wrestling from memes and stuff. You know, Ric Flair's, woo, and everything. But um, yeah, no, not a big wrestling fan. Right, interact with the bomb here, and then I think I should mess the last one up there. I accidentally clicked the microphone again instead of the guitar. And again, interact with the phone. And this number we're going to put in is 420. I wonder what that's... <laughs> wonder what that's supposed to stand for. 420. With somebody who is looking stoner than a stoner. So interact with the D. <laughs> Right then, let's do it. Now this one sort of confused me, to be honest. So, what you have to do is actually just wait. Again, just like the DJ thing, you've got to wait for a second. So type in 505. This is basically calling Sosowski himself. But when he gives you the answer, just don't press anything, just wait. And then it should automatically go to the crowd. Then you can pick the banana, and then that'll do. Because if you press the B button too early, um, it won't actually go to the crowd and show you that one. So, yeah, very, very trick question. But everyone wins this time. So we're happy with that one. Thank God. Finally. Okay. So we're going to do the bomb. The prison bomb. It's all been a bomb, hasn't it? So interact with the door. And we'll get a knife and fork. There we go. Beautiful. And then what we will do is... Well, you don't need to interact with the door again. Just interact with the bomb. So once again, you will eat the bomb. Now, to get the full 100%, don't go and sit on the toilet yet like I do. Just wait until the full 50 seconds counts down to zero. You will explode, and then you can do this again and then go on the toilet. So don't do what I do here. Just wait until the timer goes away. Um, obviously, then you'll explode. Then you can do this again, and then you can do this puzzle, and that will get you the full 100%.
So hopefully you've managed to get the 100%. Uh, if not, and you'd be following along, that's fine. We'll grab the rest later. So with this one, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to simply stand here and do nothing for 30 seconds. Bang, tidy mate. Right, when we drop down again, head to the right, drop down, yep. <laughs> that will also get us the achievement there for Express Elevator. Right, and when we begin again, what we'll do is go left and up and to the left to go through yet another trap door. And when we begin again, 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 we are going to head to the left, go up again, to the right, not all the way though. Oh, we've got Steve's beautiful picture hanging, my alien of course. Yeah. Head to the right, down and to the left, and there's another trapdoor for us waiting, which is nice. I can't believe they hung my lovely little alien picture up, that's awesome. Right, so go left and up, not all the way up this time, as I said, just like the last time. So now we can go to the right, ah, that should be hung in the Louvre. And we can just interact with the door this time. That'll uh, save the date. So kind of a nice chilled, more relaxed one, that one. Okay, so this next one is a whole bunch of fun. What we need to do is just interact with all of the, uh, what we got, seven monitors. You need to interact with all seven monitors first. Once you have interacted with all seven monitors, go through to the right-hand side door. We're just going to go through into the second door. Now, what you need to do is basically, uh, there's about five or six different scenes that you've got to actually see. Um, now, it doesn't matter whether Steve looks in, takes a piss in it like this one, or shoves his ass in it. It doesn't matter. You've basically got to see these five or six different scenes in order to get the full gags and the full 100%. So, and obviously any scenes or any animation scenes that you've seen before, you can just go in and keep pressing the B button. So A and B, keep pressing the A and B button until you've seen what you think you've seen them all. Once you think you have, just keep walking to the right. Just keep walking. It really is a long walk, but as soon as you see this button, we're going to give that a little whack and we're going to get our head pounded in. Boink. 23 tons of pure death. That's uh, unfortunate there. So if you manage to see all of these scenes and the animations, you should get onto 88%. I actually did miss one, as you can see right there. Um, but yeah. So obviously, you'll know if you missed one or two because you won't get the whole set. So for this time then, what we're actually going to do is just continue walking all the way to the right for the time being. 
we are looking for a door which has the XD symbol. You remember back in the, um, remember back in the uh, really sort of emo days of the early 2000s and stuff, and you had Roar XD. That's spelled, I said I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> the really cringiest stuff you can think of. Yes, that XD. So Twill be coming up in just a minute, um, but we're going to get the Are We There Yet achievement for finding. There it is, Roar XD, that says I love you in Dinosaur. Now, remember, if you're missing any particular scenes, just keep spamming through as quick as you can. Um, I, I, I think it was the painting one for me personally that I was missing. So just keep getting through, but of course, keep an eye on the... Oh, it was this one, actually. PP time. Keep an eye on the timer on the left-hand side of, as... Uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm starting to uh, run out of time, as it were. Now, just blast it all the way to the right until you end the level. That's it. Time for an underwater level. This time it's not annoying. It's uh, pretty decent actually. So, what we're going to do, swim to the right. We're going to head down the hole first. Go to the left. Continue swimming. Continue swimming naked. Uh, then we're going to go up. So you need to sort of push against the current to go up. And, uh, yeah. That is the most unfortunate ending of any swimming lesson you'll ever have. But he will actually whack you back down. So... Cheers, although we've got old man ball stink on our head now, which is unfortunate. Once you head to the left anyway, this will get us a couple of gaga tags. So we're actually going to get a missable achievement now. What you need to do with the um, first pipe here that's going against you, just keep tapping the A button. So try and get as straight as you can, then just keep tapping the A button. It's going to take a little while, but it's all worth it for that sweet, sweet achievement. And there we go, we're going to drop out like a fish, just go down, interact with the fish hook in order to finish the level. And we do have the diligent achievement as well. Now, we should literally only have four achievements left. If you take a look, we should only have four achievements left. Ah, it's so good! Uh, so we've got, uh, so yeah, we should be on 89 now out of the 93, which is good, isn't it? Right, so now we are at an awards ceremony, which is Banging Man. Uh, we've unlocked two levels, which we're going to do, and then we've got two levels left to go. So, first of all, walk to the right, interact with the fan with the phone in order to take a selfie, which you probably didn't want, nick a phone. Then interact with him and just put anything that you want. Uh, yeah, that's uh, my signature. Re for... Really beautiful. Take your picture and get that one done with the uh, with the D, which kind of looks like um, Barbenheimer. 
Then we need to kick all of the people out of the way. Make sure to kick the woman all the way to the left as well. That'll get you the... That was unnecessary achievement. And the award ceremony will begin. And everyone knows Barbenheimer, right? Or Oppen B. Or Barbenheimer. Yeah. Oppenheimer and Barbie. Even the Barbie film is looking banging in all fairness. Uh, Margot Robbie, what can I say? That's all you need. If you want to get me anywhere, just mention Margot Robbie and I am there. So kick your way back out. And then what we need to do, first thing we're going to do is actually just kick the woman in the ass. And then grab the envelope out of her hand. Then interact with the woman again. And that'll do it. Bang. Bomb. So now we've been caught by a random assailant. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. So, uh, obviously, a couple of things we're going to do here. First thing we're going to do, we're just going to kiss the skele skeleton, lay by it. Ah, good night. So this time for the awards ceremony, uh, what we're going to do a lot of the time now, we're just going to ignore all these, go to the right, kick all the people out of the way until we sit down, until we get back onto the stage. This time we are going to just go ahead and interact with the microphone to give it a nice a lick the end of that one. Mm. And this time then, back in the truck, interact with the disco ball, give that a little headbutt, and then just go ahead, interact with the uh, screen on the right-hand side, then interact with the spider. Once again, once we are back on stage, we're going to interact with the statue here on the left-hand side to um, take our pants down and then shove it up our rectum. We have rectum of the year. Yeah, I'm not... Oof. Damn, that's not even... That's not even the tip. That was a full way in. Dragon monster. And here we are then back at the piece of poo. The piece of crud. So we're going to try and interact with the left-hand side to get out and then drown in the puddle <laughs> and to finish the last one off then all we gotta do is just head back to the left and that'll do kid that'll do but oh twist coming up Right, so now we got some Steve levels to do. First things first, we are going to go to the upper, the top right corner. So again, there's nothing really to do in these particular le in these particular sections. It'll just go, Steve. You know, we've heard it all before, and we'll get three, normally three tags for each one. That that Steve level was actually the one where I missed the last one. So. Interact with the spider again for the time being. We'll come back to this. We're going to do some more Steve stuff. We're going top left now. Steve. 
So this is where I actually missed it for the 100%. What you need to do is interact with the um, bars on the right-hand side of the drive-in, uh, uh, where Steve's drive-in. So I accidentally kissed the skeleton. What you need to do is interact with, with the uh, things where Steve is driving at. That is what will get you. That's the one that I missed, but that is what will get you the 100%. Because um, I missed a gag there. I got, got two, but you needed three, which I missed. So just in case... Now we're just going to go to the right, head all the way down. And then all we can do for this bit is simply try and kick the door. And finally, and we're going to be coming up to another achievement. If we go directly left now, we're going to go on a little bumpy road. We're going to start doing some tss, 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 baby, some disco stuffs. Uh, there is an achievement which we will will get anyway because it's pretty much unmissable coming up. Before we crash into El Muso, Canada's favorite animal, I assume. So, we're going to interact with ourselves first. Basically, we just have to interact with ourselves, the skeleton, and the spider. And I think it's when you interact with the spider, you will get the do the worm achievement. So, we're going to take the direct left a couple of times. By the way, Steve, why are you doing this? I'm not the one you want. Take Dan Marino instead. So, we interact with the spider. And I don't think so. Either way, the spider or the skeleton, you're going to do the worm. You're going to get the achievement eventually. I told you it was the skeleton, didn't I? First time. <laughs> right, Steve, why you do this, man? So now we're going to interact with the truck itself, actually. So we interact with the truck itself, and now Steve's going to be like, hmm, you're more than just a stalker, aren't you, boy? You're a freak, man. Kidnap me, you son of a... Anyway, that will be the last for the Steve level, at least. So that's 100% on the Steven levels. And then we've just got this bit. So Steve will pop out of his truck, open it up and be like, hey boy, I want to sniff your hair. And we're just going to punch, or we're going to try and hit Steve. It's not going to go too well, of course. And that means death. Death. So do the same thing again. Interact with the truck on this level and we'll come back out. For the next one, he's going to come back out again. This time what we're going to do is just interact with the spider. Then the skeleton. Yep. And while he's incapacitated, go over to the left. Smash him down. Boosh! Worm yourself away. And of course, because I saved it, that was silly of me because I missed one. Uh, but hopefully it's the one that I told you to do earlier on. And if not, you can just wait for me. Right, this is the very, very final one. And again, the really cool final boss music's coming up. What you need to do then is interact with the sign first. Steve's going to appear, and you're going to get into a fight, which you're going to kick his ass immediately. Nice and easy, mate. Right, so we're going to head all the way to the right. There's a, As you can see on the map, there's a bunch of bombs we've got to disarm. But the first thing we're going to do is... Interact with this one and press the first option to explode it. That's just to get one gaga tag right there. Then you'll have to do the same thing. So fight Steve and go to the right bomb again. So 
this time, what we're going to do then is press the second option to hack it. Now, these hacking mini games are very easy. You literally, with the left stick, you've just got to get it over to the other point, and that will do. Sometimes you're going to get like things that will shoot you, but again, very, very easy. Make sure to disarm it as well. With that one done, head over to the left a couple of screens. For the next one, you need to go underground. So head down, and here's the next bomb again. You're going to have to do another hacking minigame, of course. We've got about seven of these to do. Make sure to not hit the walls. If you hit the walls, you will have to restart from the beginning. If you end up running out of time, you will have to do this level all over again. You should still have plenty, ample amount of time. But if you keep dying, then, uh, you know, try not to. Yeah, just try not to. They're easy enough anyway. So you've disarmed that. We're going to head back up. And then we are obviously going to head to the left one screen and then go up into the game shop. Do the same thing, of course. We need to save the poster of Sosasowski. Just shoot your way through these. Again, make sure not to touch them, but just shoot your way through and that's easy enough. Disarm the bomb again. Once that's done, we're going to head left one screen and go up into the shop. Again, another hacking mini game, of course, and then this time these things are actually going to shoot you. The bullets should be very easy enough to avoid. They don't shoot mega, but uh, obviously over the next uh, couple, they're obviously going to be a little bit more. But again, easy, easy. So head to the left once again. We're going to head up the alleyway, up the next alleyway, and here is the next one to hack. I genuinely love this music. So again, try not to hit any of the outer walls, as I almost did there. Shoot your way through, and job done. Shoot him with the A button, of course, which you probably have figured out by now. Sorry. So once we've disarmed it anyway, we go and go back down to the left again. And then we're going to go up into the hotel, continue on to the right. And it is where the guy, <laughs> the guy who was pissing has now been replaced by a bomb. So this time, of course, you can just literally avoid these shooting enemies and go straight through, which is nicey, slicey, custard icy. That's what we want. Disarm this again. Again, try not to explode it because you'll have to do the level again, and we've got this far now. Right, for the last one, head to the left. Go up into the parking, or down into the parking garage, garage, sorry, whatever. This one is a little bit more annoying. Uh, I did actually die a couple of times here, uh, just because I hit the outer wall. It's a bit skinnier, the walls. Uh, but you can actually shoot these enemies through the walls as well, if you want. So, that one's done. Yeah, boy! So now what we're going to do is go all the way to the right until we find Steve again. So give Steve a little kick in his rump a couple of times and that will get the uh, uh, the device out, the exploding device. So we need to do it one more time. So again, if you want to, you can just shoot these enemies through the walls. Nice and easy. And just take your time with this one and you should be golden as nuggety balls.
And that's the end of that chapter. Now, if you have, of course, gotten 100% in all of the gags, you will also get the There Is Nothing Else achievement. Um, but obviously, I'm going to be showing you, if you didn't uh, get the same ones that I done, or if you still got a couple of gags left, of course, then I'm going to show you the last three, which I mashed up on. McPixel 3. So, yeah, sauce, if you could. Uh, bring McPixel 1 and 2 as well onto Game Pass for the belovedness of us, please. So, again, hopefully, if you've got 100% and you've got all the achievements, then congratulations. You can now basically turn off the video. I'm just going to be showing, uh, obviously, showing you which ones that I missed for this round 4C. So, remember, the first time with the DJ one, it was... I just had to wait, literally... Oh, well, it's the bomb first. So, with the bomb, hit the door. Give me your knife and fork. Um, interact with the bomb and remember then just stand still for basically a minute and this is the 100% for this one. That'll do that. Now, remember for the DJ, just wait for a couple of seconds. You'll automatically go down into the DJ set. There we go. Now, remember, you've just got to interact with all five of these. The two uh, records spinning, the two buttons at the top, and the one so sort of mixer at the bottom. <laughs> And of course, for the last Steve level then, we need to be going top left. And remember, obviously, I told you what to do, but just in case you did miss it, same as me, just interact with the great and the right-hand side. And this is the one that I missed in order to get the full 100%.
So if you now have all of the gags, you should have 100%, including all the Steve levels. Everything is absolutely done. Yes, all the gags in the world, all done. So there we go then, guys and gals. That was a funny, entertaining, slightly exhausting four and a half hours, wasn't it? Um, but there we go, so that is that. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Really hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, legends, as always. So thank you so, so much again. I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big old chicken nugget love. There it is. Well, ignore the one, um, because I hadn't uh, unlocked it yet, but you should now be on 93 out of 93. So, chicken nugget love, babies.